All right. Yeah, we know you're going away. Let's see. Are we on? Yeah, we're live. What's going on, everybody? Saturday night, Red Cup Review. How you doing? Just got back from vacation. It's nice to see everybody, hopefully. And you guys are uh, watching with us. We're doing our San Diego Comic-Con episode. I'm with Baz. Baz, say what's up. What's up? Fresh off of vacation. How's everybody doing? How's everybody summer so far? Okay. <clears throat> Here's the deal. Um, pickups of the week. I didn't make any because I was on vacation. I went to South Jersey and ran into PJ, the Paradox Nerd out there. He bought me a beer. He was a wonderful person to meet in person. So, PJ, if you catch us on a replay or something, here's to you, buddy. Baz, yeah, there you go. He's got a beer. <coughs> cheers. There you go. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Pickups of the week. I went out to Target hunting for uh, the Colossus um, uh, Juggernaut 2-pack. Instead, I found my boy Luis from Ant Man. I love this guy. And uh, that was and bad. what's and what's her name? Uh, what you call it? Uh, ghost, right? She's ghost. Yeah. Yeah, I put her with the the face uh, the head sculpt right there. So uh, Luis comes with the uh, the 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 what you call it, building that shrinks down. Oh, that's cool. Then, you know, you get the you get the friggin' handle, so it's like a Luggage, whatever. That's dope, except but uh, I guess. And one of the ants comes with one of the ants. I don't know if this is Aunt Antonio Banderas or Aunt Aunt Fernie Hardaway. I don't know who, who this is, but <laughs> I guess you can make up your own names. But uh, yeah, so that's it. How is it? How are the figures, man? They're cool, man. They're good. They're good. They're, they're Marvel Legends, man. They have articulation. Oh, that's just lovely. <laughs> Everyone else that wants to see Marvel Legends is just stoked by your stellar. Uh, they're good, bro. What do you What do you want? I don't yeah, know. They're good. I don't. Yeah. I don't break them down scientifically yeah. like you. I that's know. your yeah. job. Do they have articulation or is it shit? Do their legs split or is it not work? There you go. Here's a split. Okay. There's a split. Oh, he got his arms out. There you go. What else do you need? Hey, bends. Nice. There you go. You Before. can bend them over in the bathroom <laughs> if you want to. There you go. So that's it. Now he's good. He looks like he was. He's on so. a a what you call it body, like um, like like an announcer, like a wrestling announcer, like Buck. <laughs> Probably right, like a wrestling figure. Hmm. That's cool. I, I don't know if he has like an ab crunch, but like you know, like the freaking blazer is stopping it. So right. Okay. You don't need you don't do you need an ab crunch on this guy? No, I don't know. Yeah, he twists. Head, oh, the head sculpts are good. He twists. He twists at the at the the what you call it, at the waist. So yeah, no, the head sculpts are dope. It's, especially Luis. Luis is the best. Nice. So yeah, that's it. So far, uh, it seems nice. we're going to be doing more damage in the weeks to come uh, with uh, all these reveals, right? Oh, hell yeah. We have a shit ton of reveals to check out tonight, guys. So we're going to be doing some Marvel Legends, some all the sideshow shit and all the hot toys and all that. We're going to keep this strictly to, like, toys and collectibles. Uh, CM Brock, what's up? How's it going? Edwin Diaz, always good to see you. And Danny Lee, what's up, people? Right back at you. All right, let's start looking at some toys here. If anybody wants to talk about anything that was revealed over the course of the con, please feel free to do so. Ask any questions, and we'll we'll take it from there. I'm going to start the screen share now. And we're going to start our commentary on all this wonderful stuff that was placed out. So let's see. All right. I have the Sideshow one up first. I have the uh, uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends. And I have the preview night over here of Mezco. What do you guys oh. look at first? Yeah, right. How do you not love that Conan, bro? I saw you diss that Conan. Hold on. I got to get to this stupid-ass page of mine so I can see the chat as I'm breaking this down off my phone. Because the shit chat disappears. All right. <clears throat> Mike B, what's up, man? Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're going to look at what first, Baz? What do you want to look at first? Sideshow, since we got the sideshow shit up? No? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. yeah, yeah. I want, cool. I want to check out that Conan, the Frazetta, because you you dissed that. All right. we're gonna go to, all right, we're going to start with the Mezco then. So starting it off tonight, we're going to go with the Mezco figures. Here is right. the Frazetta Mezco Conan figure that I am on the fence about. Now, I like it. But I don't Ooh. love it. I don't love it because oh, yeah. it looks like the hair is going to interfere with the neck articulation. Um, but I don't know how they would do it otherwise. 
I think that the body is a little bit too much with the veins and the super ultra detail. I think they need to kind of keep what they have. I know they're not going to do this, but like lessen it down a little bit, like to like turn the dial back to like a nine or an eight on the definition of like the veins and the um, the abs and stuff. I mean, yeah, it is Frazetta. It's pretty much on point, exactly him. And this is another thing that kind of like struck me as a little uh, teeny bit off putting. I'm trying to get a close up of the face. Do we have a close up of the face shot? No, there is no close up of the face. It's the the lines in the face itself. The face, I think, has so many lines in it. It almost made him look like a. It reminded me of like a Frank Miller drawing, like where there's too mm. much going on. It was a little too busy for me. Yeah, I can see how he's a little too ripped. Those abs look a little ridiculous. Exactly. I like it though. Yeah. I like the idea. I've always wanted a six inch Conan to go with my stuff. I think he's going to come with a bunch of shit. I, you know, he's going to come with two or three head sculpts because there's no soft goods on this besides his loincloth cloth and maybe his boots. I have a picture of his boots. So, yeah, the boots are, are sculpted, too. So you're looking at just the loincloth as far as soft goods go. So they're probably going to make up for it. Like you have the mace, the sword, the shield, and then you probably get the dagger. And you'll, you'll probably get like a spear and maybe like three or four head sculpts is what I'm figuring you, you'd get. You think you think they'll make those uh, those frost giants? You know, so you can put them to battle him and shit. Maybe a two-pack frost giant two-pack if this uh, figure does well. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody had mentioned something about like an articulated giant snake or something to recreate the the snake wrapping around them, that that painting. Yeah. If I know Mezco, it's probably going to be totally based on the sales of this specific fig figure alone. And they've been steering away from doing vehicles and stuff with the exception of like Ghost Rider that's coming out because the um, the Lawmaster and the, um, the, the, the Frankenstein cave sold so like terribly. They're like staying away from like bigger size stuff, which is funny now because that Frankenstein diorama is one of the most expensive things to get on the aftermarket as far as Mezco goes. Jesus. Very highly collectible now. And I noticed that the the Judge Dread figures, you couldn't get they were giving them away with the Lawmaster inside like those uh those blind boxes that they were doing, and they couldn't mm. sell them. And now I'm noticing that at one point, the the Judge Dreads were around like 40 bucks. You could pick up a Mezco Judge Dread. Now they're like 80, 90 bucks, and they're starting mm. to go on the rise again. So everyone that has it now, that, that has it now, wanted it, and everybody that's coming new and wants it is now going crazy for it. So this is a case where Mezco's going to turn and say, hey, if you wanted it, you should have got it when it was out. Like they told me about the Frankenstein figure, and I was like, dude, you got me fucking kidding me. I asked you, I was like, what's going on with the Bella Lugosi and everyone else? And they're like, well, people should have brought the Frankenstein if they wanted to support it. And it's like, people aren't going to support a line if you're not going to have company support for the line itself. But they didn't want to hear that. I just recently watched that uh, Dread movie with uh, Carl um, Urban. Urban. Oh, my God. It's so good. I, I, I watch it at least like once a year, I think. And I showed it to my girlfriend. She fucking loved it, too. Uh, CM Brock says, how about that nipple robin? Oh, we're getting a nipple robin. All right, up next from Mezco, and what I thought was the re probably the reveal of the con for them was the Bluto figure, the two-pack Popeye coming out because it's a new Popeye uh, clothing deco with Bluto, and he looks freaking awesome, man. They finally, they finally made me in action figure form. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is great, man. Look, there's the new Popeye deco. Now you're getting the white. That you have, Baz, with yeah. the the blue that I had, oh, that's cool, and they're yeah. kind of mixing them together, which is. But how much cool. is that going to cost, man? You know, I kind of want to just Bluto by himself. Oh, you know, this is going to wind up being probably like a hundred and if I had to guess, one hundred and eighty, probably sixty a figure. Jesus, you know, so or rather eighty a figure for one hundred and sixty, probably for the two pack, if I had to guess, because yeah. you know they're going to come with multiple things and all that bullshit. Obviously, he's coming here with a wrench as it is. And this is this is good news. This is really good news for people that don't give a shit about Popeye, because this is going to be your Hulk buck most likely. You guys want a comic book Hulk? You, you're there's your comic book Hulk right there, as far as the the body goes. Mm. So Popeye is is just a tad yep. shorter than your regular figures, and obviously he's much bigger. Yo, how much is that dark that dark side going for now? I, I saw him for cheap the other day. I've seen him go for anywhere from ninety to one hundred and twenty. Yeah, I think I might have seen him go for like almost sixty or something. I was like, "What? Wow, that's fuck? crazy!" That's dude. Crazy. Like, how much? How much was he initially? Like two, right? He was like two twenty. Two hundred. Yeah, one hundred and eighty plus shipping and taxes. Yeah, 
So yeah, I I seen him going for like south of a hundred dollars now. Oh yeah, no, that's crazy. It's, he's definitely worth it at that price. If you could pick up a dark side for that price, definitely. definitely Man, you you never know with this shit, right? Like you, you know, you think you know, oh, let me buy this now so it doesn't go up in price when I you know when I want it later on. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it it depreciates, you know, and you get it for cheaper. Don't don't yeah, but uh, you know what happens is that everybody settles into getting the dark side. All the new gods fans that don't know about Mezco come in, they take them up. Look what happened with Superman. You couldn't give away a Superman, and now he's like one of the most expensive Mezcos. Yeah, so, it's ridiculous. So exactly. So don't don't fear not fear not collectors. What do you think of the Mo Mo Mobius Morbius Morbius? I don't know. This is kind of like a eh, whatever reveal. Does anybody me. care about play. Mobius, man? I don't as, really as do a it, character? You know, They're probably figured because they're doing the Mobius movie, so they were probably like, let's put the figure in development now. So by, excuse me, by the time the, the movie comes out with Jared Leto, it'll probably like be able to capitalize on the hype of that. But the costume looks okay. The face sculpt looks great. You know he's going to come with an alternate head with his fangs out. It looks good, but I don't really care about him. This is the first Spider-Man villain we're gonna get, and I'm like, I don't never really gave a shit about Mobi Morbius. Morbius, I think, is his name. So it's like, all right, but I don't really care about him. This is the first so, Spider-Man. It's like, okay, but whatever. The hell was that? Oh, that was me. Hmm. Okay, moving along. We already saw the Wonder Woman. She looks great. Oh, she, she looks amazing. She looks fantastic. And all this armor is removable, too. So if you don't like the whole next thing and, and arm yeah. thing going on here, you can remove it and shit. So that's just friggin' awesome. Well, she looks great, right? Perfect. Stunning. Uh, uh, okay, you just got this Joker, right? You said he was really good. Yeah, he's cool. Mm. Better look at Aquaman in person. I think he looks pretty damn good. Again, this eh. is removable. All this is eh. removable. Not as good as the promos. Really? He looks a little uh, like old school. Um, um, mess, what do they call those? Those dolls? Oh, we, that we Migo? Said. You think he looks Migo? -ish? Yeah, he's got a little Migo ish look there. Yeah, possible. I don't know. I like bit. the idea that they're going with the two different colors in the legs here. So it looks like he's uh -huh. had his trunks on without having the trunks. You know? All right, move it along. Does he have more armor or something? Does he. Oh, the trident, right? The trident, the trident. He's got the, the, the head piece, the crown and shit. Yes, the two head sculpts. Here's your boy. And this will, this will give you a better look at the the, the how the Batman is going to articulate. You see how – this is what I was trying to point out months ago during Toy Fair. See how around the knees and around the nuts over here, the, the crotch area, you can see that the armor breaks up. You'll get your articulation in there. You know, so that's Can we get somebody to pose these damn figures, man? Do they look like – Stiff museum poses, man. Yeah, I know. They're just that's because they're just they don't they're just hiring people to go in there and just I'll put them up and whatever. There's your there pose. There's, there's a pose. There's a good pose. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I didn't order him though. I didn't order the John Stewart. I'm going with Hal, uh, Hal for my collection. I I, I pre-ordered both of those fuckers somewhere. I don't even know where I pre-ordered them too. No, they'll just come yeah. in one day and you'll be like, what the hell? Yeah. Here's, <laughs> yeah, the reveal a pose. That, no, here's a pose. Here's a reveal that really nobody saw coming and nor did they even really give a shit about. Uh, an all-black deco Batman. It's like, really? We're doing this again? We're back on this I one? like it. I like it. It's like a Batman and Robin George Clooney outfit. Uh, Mo Mo Morbius Living Van. Okay, Sam Brock says it's a villain, so I'll take it. LOL. Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely. Um. Let's see. Okay, so whatever. This I don't care about. Hopefully it's an exclusive. I don't have to worry about this shit because it's like a non-glossy version of the figure we just got. Snooze. Keep it moving. Uh, here's your Gordon. And that thing is going to be huge. That back signal is going to be massive, man. Very cool. So I think it looks cool. I, I love the jacket. Um, these things I really don't care about. Well, I'll get that shit out of I don't care either. But I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was interesting. They do have the license for this. The Shining, so you may see him in one 112 scale eventually, which would be pretty nice. Remember that uh, that uh, reworked commercial of the uh, of the Shining, the trailer, where it made it it made it uh, sound like it was like a, a what you call it, a oh, heartfelt kind of movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Danny, Danny Shining uh, really agrees. He says it does make it look uh, yeah, Shining. <laughs> it doesn't make it look a little amigo ish. Uh, where the hell is the thing I was fucking looking for? Sorry to curse everybody. I'm going to try to wheel back the curses going forward on the show. 
to try to sound a little bit more professional because okay. YouTube okay. has been getting really, really weird with their stuff around these parts. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, the bobble. Yeah, whatever. They got to make if it's not 112, I'm. Like what? Yo, I ran into him at the convention I went to. Uh, what you call it? The the leader of the warriors. Oh, really? Yeah, like we we like cross paths and we were like, "Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up?" You know that kind of thing. Oh, this is what I want to see. This would, would be cool. A Batman and Robin two pack with the Batmobile in one twelve scale. What? That would be nice. That's what size is that? Like like four four inch? Yeah. Well, these figures are three and three fourth inch inches. Yeah, I think like GI Joe size. Yeah, yeah. Which would it would I, I would actually get these if they were posable, like if they were GI Joe size, and it, they were like we're going to do the Batmobile with it, but just in like three and three fourths in scale, I would get it, but it's not posable, so I don't like what, you know. Okay, we're just the disgusting pigs on tonight's show. <laughs> All this, this one actually looks pretty damn good. I like this. I like the sculpt from the Catwoman here. You guys got to do this amigo form. This is a oh, oh is fat, a, fat 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 fat. Alert! This is a one twelve scale figure. We need a Fleischer Superman. This is a hundred. I'm I'm fucking it. getting that. I don't care what size that is. It's fucking and he Fleischer comes, Superman. He comes with the robot too. I think <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The robot. That's awesome. Hell yeah, man! Look, look. that early Superman. He just fight robot. Oh, more Fleischer. There you go. That cartoon is so good, man. That's you know, uh, Batman the an animated series took a lot of it. Uh, what you call it from the Fleischer Superman? It was a big uh, influence. But those things, those things hold up to this day. They're, yeah, they are nice. They are nice cartoons. They they look nice too. They got a real nice look. Like the the colors that they used on the color palette was really nice, as well. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish it was one twelve scale. So that's what I wanted to show you you guys from that. And that takes up the. You see, he's too like. See his face over here is too much going on. It's too busy. It's like right, I got you. Need to yeah, lay sure. off the. Just lay back a little bit on the sculpt, soften it a little. I mean, we're talking, and you know what the release date for this figure is? 2021, the spring. So it's a year and a half away at the earliest. Yeah. Whatever. It's ridiculous. All right. Moving along, guys. We're going to keep it moving here and we're going to X that out. And it looks like we're going to Marvel Legends and we're skipping the, the big saucy stuff for last. Um, Baz, what did you see specific? I can't look. All right. Here we go. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Giant. Uh, giant man. <laughs> is, that, is, is that the builder figure? Basically, no, he's, he's just giant man. He's coming in this giant man pack, so he's not even a builder figure. No, but I'm saying, is he like you know, like eight inches, or whatever the size he was, nine inches, or whatever? Yeah, no, he's, he's a, big. He's like extra big. This this figure, it's not okay. a, it's not a like the same Marvel Legend size. This was pretty cool. Uh, this I kind of like. This is what I was hoping from Mezco, and they kind of stole the thunder. And I don't know. I I don't really like these. I'm not really digging these photographs because I know that they're touched up. And I think mm. the, the I think that the Doctor Doom actually looks better in person without all this blue shit flowing around him that they're trying to make him look cool than he is. But the uh, the metal actually looks a little bit more die casty in person. It's just the rubber. It's the rubber that they use, not the rubber, the um the plastic they're using for the cape and the the head and and all that stuff. That's why I need a Mezco version for the soft goods. But um, you know what? I'm I'm glad. This is the best Marvel Legend reveal for me for the con, and I'm glad they are, they continue to step their game up. It looks great. I just wish Mexico would, would do it. Yeah, do them. Definitely. Definitely. That's the highlight of the con for me, too. Uh, let's see. More. Oh, oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get into, into the other highlight later. It's uh, another Marvel Legend highlight? No, no. It's a, it's a DC one, though. So okay. we'll talk about that later. All right, yo, Morph. A lot of people didn't know who this was. They got it wrong. They were they were saying uh Madcap. Yeah, whatever. But uh yeah, Morph. This is the guy from the Exiles uh comic book. Wait. Morph originated in the X-Men TV series. Right. And then and he kind of sucked in the series. And then they brought him into the Age of Apocalypse storyline, which is where this is from originally. And they made him cool. And he was actually a cool character in that. He was a dope X-Man, so um, obviously, he's so now gonna... this, this makes me want to go out and get uh blink. Oh, the, the blink figure is, is nice so in person in Wildwood over the uh, over my uh vacation, and the blink figure is actually really nice looking. Yeah. So, um, as far as the character. Character stuff goes, it's it's cool. Yeah, she's a dope character. All right, uh, Shang-Chi, what? <laughs> listen, listen, we already got Bruce Lee. All right, I'm fine. Yeah, I 
I don't know, whatever. I guess they're trying to push this because of the new movie coming out or something. One thing I do like about it, I'm not, I don't collect Marvel Legends, is this butterfly joint right here, which is pretty cool. You know, it kind of screws up the sculpt a little bit, but it's going to be able to, you'll be able to get them into like some crazy kung fu pose. You know, it's funny. Part. It's like, like you know, you know, I mean, you've known me to, to like read a lot of obscure Marvel fucking characters, right? Micronauts, you know, freaking Moon Knight, all this, you know. But I've never read anything Shang Chi. You? No, dude. I I I forgot he even existed. The last yeah. time I read about Shang Chi being a character was I think in like 1990 or like 89 when. Marvel Universe had like those like character bio comics, mm. like those comics that just had character bios in them. I think that was the last time I even heard of this character. He's just too much Bruce Lee. It's just like, yeah, and you know what? Right? Not Danny Rand as far as the kung fu guy goes. I don't know. It's to me, it's like redundancy. Um, this looks kind of cool. This like this is I guess She Hulk. Yeah, Savage She Hulk. Yeah, she looks pretty good. You know, I mean, I kind of like the She-Hulk and like the business <clears throat> outfit a little bit more, but she looks pretty good. It's funny because they draw her way bigger. They, they draw her almost like the size of the Hulk in the comics right now. But the in the actual figure, they scaled her down. They didn't make her as bulky, which I like. Edwin so. Diaz writes, the master of Kung Fu. Where do you think Stanley got the idea for him and Ar Iron Fist? Exactly. From uh, Bruce Lee. I would be, yeah, both because of Bruce Lee. There you go. All right. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Get this is the Spider Man variant. This is this his velocity suit. I don't care. Th these variants of characters. I like my Spider Man, John Romita, Dicko, uh, you know, uh, Mark Bagley, plain old web slinger. I don't care about the, or the Secret Wars black outfit. These other outfits do nothing for me. Baz's favorite character. Wait, yes. here he is. Squirrel Girl. I love Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. That's his favorite Oh, character. my God. It was with a basket of squirrels. <laughs> I just want the basket. <laughs> so I could put my dandelions in them. Well, look, she's surrounded by, by flowers and stuff. Whatever. I don't know nothing about this character. For all I know, she could have the best written comic out there, which I doubt highly. But Squirrel Girl. For, well, you know what's funny? I'm kind of glad they're making Squirrel Girl, and I'll tell you why. I don't collect Marvel Legends. I know some other people do. Uh, our good friend Kyle, who's in the industry, said that girls actually play more with action figures nowadays than boys do. And my daughter, I, just from my own personal experience, I can tell you that from between my daughter and my son, my son's into like electronics and playing games and a little bit of G.I. Joe's and my or Black Series and my daughter. Daughter is all about toys, all different kinds of toys. She plays G.I. Joe, she plays Barbie, she plays with the superheroes, she plays with his Black Series, she plays with everything she can get her hands on, she actually plays with. So, all right, whatever, Squirrel Girl. I'll be buying her a Wonder Woman or a Storm or a Jean Grey, but Squirrel Girl for those that like them, whatever. All right, Strong Guy. Someone mentioned Strong Guy in the chat. Uh, what do you think, Baz? Awesome, finally. Some, some Italian representation. I'm really not a fan, and I was never really a fan of this character i don't like his design i don't like the outfit i never liked that stupid look like his head like took a shit like the charlie brown with the white hair coming out of it um yeah. but it looks good though it looks if you're into x factor and you want a modern or not really modern but my modern which was the last it goes to show you the last time i was reading marvel comics uh x factor it's pretty dope so i'm, I'm a thumbs well, they, up that. well they got uh what you call it um we got the two pack, which is probably going to show up, of uh, Havoc and uh, Polaris, and uh, Marvel. Uh, what you call it? not Marvel? Uh, Hasbro released a uh, multiple man, I uh, believe, last year. So you, you pretty much got the whole team almost. Of uh, California, X hold on a second. This guy, California Republic, just wrote, "I'd smash your daughter." Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty stupid, man. I'm ignoring this fucking guy. Whatever, yeah. you're a douche. All right, moving it's along. So fucking, that's so fucking. What is what is going on, man? Somebody report yeah. this guy because my daughter is is five years old. Uh, her birthday was this week, so report this guy. All right. Um. Okay. Here it goes. Listen, I, 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 I'm an asshole, douchebag, troll myself, but that's freaking. That's that's low as fuck. That's mad low, dude. So that's mad low. All right. That's too low, man. That's too low. It's too low. Uh, variant Punisher. That looks cool for the Punisher guys. It's I dig it. 
It's all right. I like the face with the skull on it. I like the Jim Lee head. You know, the, the mm. some of these Marvel Legends figures look like they need a little bit more detail in the wash and the uh, the paint apps for the uh, weapons and stuff. But whatever, it looks cool. It looks better here. There you go. It's pretty good. I wouldn't have gave him a half smirky smile though. Maybe a yelling face or something. Is that like what, like the the War Zone uh, journals or whatever Punisher journals version of Punisher, uh, Punisher? War Journal, like where he fought Wolverine? Punisher. Yeah, uh, and then that series. That's kind of like where this is from. Looks like that's pretty cool. I, I dig it. Hey, oh wait, wait, here's the Velocity suit on Spider Man. And don't worry, we're going to talk about Asmus Gandalf later on. Here is the Vulture, which I think looks great. Baz, what do you think of Vulture as far as a classic look? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, he's he's awesome. I, it, it's it's the classic look of uh, Spider Man's uh, Rogue Gallery. Uh, harkens back to like you know my favorite era, the Ditko era of uh, Spider Man. You know, recently they had a Scorpion that came out that looks uh, old school. So yeah, I definitely like him. So nice, awesome, yeah, Spider-Man. good thing to go. With your Sinister Six. This looks hilarious to me. I know it's accurate, but I always thought Wolverine looked goofy in the Age of Apocalypse. He was one of my least favorite things about that series, although I liked it. The outfit looks all right, a little too glossy for me, a little too bland painted wise. But um Was his hair that crazy? His hair was that crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was weird. I guess whatever. For those Age of Apocalypse characters, I guess he's a must have, so you know, whatever. He looks good. If for, for you know, I mean as far as his character design is the screams of the nineties, but he actually looks pretty good. The hell scope looks good on X-Men over here. Now he, he was uh, a, uh, what you call it? A uh, alternate reality version of uh, Nathan's uh, summer's cable, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Younger version of the cable from the, uh, uh, was it uh, apocalypse? Yeah. Age of apocalypse. Okay. Age of Apo- okay. So again, that's cool. That they're fleshing out that storyline. This to me is just whatever. Okay, Deadpool in a suit. Whatever. <laughs> like, I don't know. He comes with a guitar, I guess. Deadpool is a character that I'll never get, never understand. So I hope everybody's happy with this reveal. I know you ain't getting that, Baz, right? No, no. It's like, whatever. Okay. Uh, I mean, this, I fun. actually like. This got a lot of hate online. I think this is pretty cool. I think it looks pretty good. I like Why did it get hate? I don't know. They're saying like, oh, stop re-releasing characters a hundred times. This is ridiculous. Why re-release them again and again and again? We don't need this. I kind of like, um, I don't know. I'm digging, I'm digging this head sculpt on Cyclops specifically. The one with like the, they have like the one with the Bret Hart sunglasses, then this head with the older school mm-hmm. glasses kind of. I dig that head a lot. I think that looks really cool. I like the jacket on him. I think she looks awesome. Uh, really friggin' awesome for Marvel Legends girl character. Again, I'm out of the Marvel Legends loop for a while, guys, but I think she looks dynamite as hell. I love the ponytail uh, look from the cartoon. And this is pretty much like a cartoon pack, kind of, you know, so that's why I kind of dig it a little bit. I think it's pretty dope. Here's a pretty cool set. So it looks like they're trying to flesh out the rest of, uh, or, or at least get to most of X Factor that updated version which was like the 90s version i guess and i always liked havoc as a character i think they could have did a little bit better with the the add-ons besides just recoloring them for polaris but that's a pretty cool uh two-pack i always liked havoc as a character in polaris I thought they were cool cool couple is there any way to boot this guy because it's like killing my fucking vibe i'm not even looking he's really he's really just keeps going yeah it's he says age doesn't matter wow Hey, yeah. what's up, Tattoo Toy Hunter? What's going on? Um, hey, what's up, Jeff? How are you? We're gonna be getting into the the higher end stuff soon too. Uh, just I don't know how to boot this guy. Uh, how do you report? So here, report, uh, reporting you. Uh, unwanted commercial content, a spam, hate speech, or graphic violence, harassment, or bullying. Here we go. Uh, this is harassing me, and report. Okay, there you go. You've been reported. All right, I encourage everybody else to report this guy. He's talking about uh, and underage my underage daughter. Uh, so I, I would appreciate if anybody could chime in on that. I just reported him myself. Okay, getting moving along. Deathlock. What? Your thermostat beeping, just so you know. My thermostat? Yeah. What do you mean my thermostat? I don't know. It's a beeping coming from the thermostat. Oh, sh- all right. I'll get to it when I'm done. Oh, yeah, that's what it means. We got to change the batteries in the thermostat. All right. Uh, Deathlock looks cool. I guess he's a part of X-Force now. 
I always thought Deathlock was a pretty cool character. I kind of um, I think it's pretty dope because the Gatlin gun, shotgun, handgun. What do you think, Baz? Um, yeah, it's just a freaking repaint. Okay. Uh, how do I report? Hey, Julio, what's up? What's up, dude? Okay, uh, all you have to do is click on his name, and it'll have report under it. So if everybody jumps on and reports this guy, um, then we can, uh, you know, it'll look a little bit more official than me just uh, reporting him. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is what happens when you come on someone's channel and take a crap in their living room. All right, repaints aside, let's keep it moving. Um, here, how about this figure? <laughs> Anyways. Whatever, Captain America Endgame, bland. I hate it when they do movie figures. They never look right. Oh, that's that's America's ass. Yay. That yeah, was the was. worst joke, man. Uh, th that took me out of the fucking movie. I was like, oh, God. It's, yeah, I, I, what, it didn't know, bother me when I saw it. What bothered me was the million other jokes that came from it. Uh, this looks all right. I don't know. I'm not a fan of movie characters. I know you do the movie characters from time to time. I'm well, listen, I, I, have to get, I, have to, I have to get fucking Lebowski Thor, so... Well, about you, that's that the builder figure. So have fun with that one. That's the builder figure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sunglasses and no glasses. Totally sunglasses, right? Check it out before we continue. I heard that uh, that new Master sixty nine, the guy that Thor was uh, frustrated playing uh, video games with, was uh, Wong. Oh yeah, yeah. I had heard about that. That was confirmed too. That's cool. That's funny. <laughs> I like that. That's a, a cute little joke, like inside joke. There. That's cool. That's uh, Wong trolling them. That's cool. Um, they found a way to reuse this body over and over again and give you different characters. So you get the Moonstar. You get um, – I forgot who this character is here. Yeah, who Wong. is that? I've been trying to find out who that is. I know the other one's Wolfsbane. Yeah, and Wolfsbane. So you get you can actually pretty much – you know, you're going to have to buy this three times though, unfortunately. And then yeah. you sell off the extra heads, but you'll have yourself three uh, – you know, three characters. New mutants. Yeah. New mutants. Um, yeah, that was a big deal. Like when the new mutants came out, like in the early eighties. What about you know, like um, that was the first time, like you know, we got like a, a whole batch of new, newly created mutants. You know, they were I mean, cool too. It, was, I never, I never read or got into the mo new mutants when Moonstar was on the team, when uh, the magic was on the team. That's not my new mutants. My new mutants started later on with uh, Cannonball, uh, Rusty Skids, Boom Boom. Um, okay, that was more like like turning into X Force. Just yeah, like before. the, the, the pre X Force, post X, and then X Force uh, new mutants. Yeah, the um, the Sunspot, uh, Warpath, those characters, which pretty pretty much became X Force. You know? Yeah, they started out well. The the first batch of new mutants was uh, Sunspot. Um, Cannonball, Danny Moonstar, Wolfsbane, and uh, some other character I forgot. But uh, yeah, that was the initial group, and I, I think they they released it as a graphic novel. You know, back back then back then they didn't you know they released graphic no novels full. Like it, it wasn't like they waited like six issues and then collected into a graphic novel. They just released it as a graphic novel. Like God, God, what was it? God, God loves man kills. From the X-Men. Right. You know that storyline? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I just, uh, guys, I just wanted to, uh, I, I silenced California Republic for 300 seconds, and then I just hit him from a couple of reviews. So he's booted okay. from the channel. So bye. Good. Uh, nice knowing you, pal. Take care. Brush your hair. You're a fool, and you better not be who I think you are. Um, okay, so moving along. And and Julio says, why no love for Masters of the Universe? Because we just did Mezco and we just did Marvel Legends, and now we're moving into the the uh, this stuff here, the the high more high end stuff. And obviously, we're going to get into Mondo and all that other stuff here too as well. See, wait, no, that's that's not Masters. I don't know. We're going to get to Masters eventually. All right, wow. shit, we got so much stuff to cover. I'm trying to cover it all at once in one show here. Anyways, moving along. You're right, Baz. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Blitzway stole the con from me. Uh, once again, I'll just, I'm going to turn around and say, what the hell is that noise? That's me. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to yeah, stop. So, that's, what, that's, what, that's WhatsApp. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I'm going to come back for a moment and just say that as far as the reveals go uh, for the con, I didn't get a chance to compile like my top 10 list, what my favorite stuff is. So I'll try to get to it as I speak about it. Um, I think Asmus shot themselves by releasing the Gandalf pre-con because that would have probably blew the doors off of the con because that's still one of the nicest things I saw from the con itself. I was very disappointed in Sideshow showing. Uh, I uh, was very disappointed in um, Hot Toys. Hot Toys was Marvel Legends expensive to me. That's all that was, was just a lot of expensive Marvel Legends. I like Marvel. I like Marvel just as much as the next guy, but there was no variety at all whatsoever, and that kind of bothered me. And for people that – one dude actually knows that I always complain about there being no variety, and he was like, come on, Rob, look, they even showed a Pennywise – and I said, yeah, Pennywise was done in one six scale form by QMX over a year ago. So this is kind of like old, kind of rehashing old bullshit. So that doesn't even count for me. Uh, not a fan of anything that they kind of did. Uh, however, I think Blitzway, like I had predicted, won the con, for me at least, with two specific reveals, uh, or three really. I'm not getting the Zaro, but I think it was one of the nicer looking figures that was revealed. And we're going to get into that now. So go back to the screen share. Here we go. Share and down. All right, Baz, what do you think of Zaro? Zaro is awesome. I, I love this this movie with uh, the first one uh -huh. with uh, Anthony Hopkins. Or Anthony Hopkins plays a older Zaro, and he uh, he uh, is retiring, and he needs to uh, he wants to continue the uh, the legend, and he teaches in Antonio Banderas how to be Zaro. It's a it's an awesome origin story. It's a great uh, uh, what you call it, modern take on the character. Well, at the, at that time, and uh, like like you said, it's it's something different, something new. You know, it's, it's not this, the same old you know flavor of the week or flavor of the month of the Marvel Legends kind of stuff. Yeah, I like it. I even think it's cool to come with the unmasked head sculpt. I think it looks very nice. I like the outfit. Pretty cool. I'm not getting it because I'm not that much of a Zaro movie fan. But I like it. I like what they did, and I think it looks great. However, things that I am getting, things that I am pre-ordering, uh, Bill and Ted is coming out as a two-pack, and I am all over this because Bill and Ted just screams my childhood, nothing like the Fountain of Youth. So I am all over this. This was one of the reveals of the con for me. I was kind of hoping that they were going to reveal uh, Bill and didn't abandon the Bill and Ted figures. I think that they, even though they showed Ted last year, they improved the head sculpt. It's still not perfect. But they did improve it, and I'm glad that they didn't just abandon it like they did at some of the other things. I think that the Bill and Ted show, though, from last year through Blitzway had their most positive feedback, so they're going to go with that. So I am all on board with this. And I believe the two of them, they don't come with a, um, a phone booth. They come with a telephone, it looks like. And it also looks like they're coming with a – they had like a video recorder set up, like a little mini video recorder, and they had people waving at it, and it's showing up on the television. So I'm wondering if the video recorder they're going to come with – is actually a live working mini video recorder, or at least a, uh, like a mirroring thing between the little mini camera and the mini TV set they come with. So I think that's pretty awesome. Nothing? You got nothing for me? I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah, no, I don't care. Yeah, Bill and Ted's okay. All right. Uh, the reveal, <laughs> one of the, no, that's cool, whatever. Reve <laughs> one of the reveals for the con for me right here was the Jimi Hendrix. Talk about stepping outside the box and pushing pushing the genre forward. Uh, this is probably going to be a must have for me because I hear that they're working on, depending on this, there's a rumor that they're going to be doing a, um, you probably see him next year though. Uh, not a David Bowie, which I'm sure he'll, he'll probably be the next one to be shown. Um, uh, why am I only thinking of the actor's name now that I can never remember? Uh, Queen. Come on, man. Uh, Freddie Malik. Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is probably going to be the second one in the line of their music series. And that is, for me, that's an absolute must have. So uh, this Jimmy looks uh, absolutely just great. And, you know, I don't know. I'm all over this. I love this. I love the one that, when a company has the, 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 the intestinal fortitude, as Mr. McMahon would say, to kind of drive the genre forward by doing things outside the box. I just love it. Blitzway, you could always rely on them for doing things that's, you know, no, that's cool. Hopefully, hopefully, like, like me, I would get like a Tony Iommi or Black Black Sabbath. That would that would 
be more of my in my there you house. go. Uh, Daenerys one fourth scale statue. So this is probably the next thing that they did. The um, what the hell was that character? They did uh, Basic Instinct. They did this is probably like the next. Uh, she was like the one fourth scale, scale statue that was shown off last year, along with the Hannibal Lecter kind of. That's kind of like a statuesque figure type thing. And this is the newer one with the three dragons above her. They they got to get somebody to take pictures, like a few different pictures. Like you know, the only reason why I'm using Sideshow right now is it's easier for me to click around. But um, the head sculpt isn't quite there, but it's nice. It's a nice little set, and it's pretty friggin' huge at one fourth scale. So nice. Good. Yeah, face it looks a little long. That may be the angle of the shadows. Yeah, no, that you could the, the the face actually ends like around here, but yeah, I could see what you're saying. Now I've seen yeah. the up close pictures online. I'm not gonna go digging online uh, up close pictures now, but she does look pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. This I think is pretty cool. Astro Boy, not a fan, but I think this is pretty dope. This exclusive version that they got going on here. Where is it? They got this whole like uh like thing that opens up and you could build Astro Boy kind of and he like glows and shit inside the chamber. That's pretty cool. I know there's a huge market for Astro Boy in the Asian market. So this is like this is something that's just cool to look at. This is something that I could admire from afar and be like, thumbs up, guys. Good to see something new. They got this Bruce Lee quarter scale. I know our boy Rodney Jones from Darth Castle uh, is this is all this is all him because he loves Bruce Lee. Uh, he says that he thinks the face sculpt isn't quite where he would prefer it. And he wasn't a fan of where the arm is positioned, he says. But if they do improve the face sculpt, he is going to be all over it. I saw Bruce Lee where they had a a, a dragon, like kind of like wrap wrapping around him. He was like in a fight pose, and there was a dragon wrapped around him. That might have been. Uh, it might be uh, Diamond Select. Yeah, it was Diamond Select, which has some cool stuff too. Oh, Paradox Nerd is in here. What's up, PJ? I shouted you out earlier. It was good meeting you, man, uh, on vacation this week. He says I have a feeling he will not be made. I'm thinking he's talking about Zoro. Uh, Bill and Ted have a high chance of being made rather than Zoro. Yeah, probably the highest chance, I would guess. My favorite was the Hot Toys, Iron Patriot, War Machine, and Rocket Raccoon. That's if it comes in a two-pack, which I'm sure it isn't going to. And Nick Knack is in here. What's up, Nick Knack? How's it going? And Jeff Moore. Yeah, Jeff Moore is Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Hells yeah, all over that shit as well. All right. Uh, Inspector Gadget, 112 scale. I don't really care. Whatever. That's not something that's in my wheelhouse at all, so I'll keep it moving from there. Baz, if there's something you want to see specifically, let me know. Right. They showed off the Night King. Anybody in the uh, still piss Hot Toys isn't doing a cyborg. My JL, my JL is messed up now. You damn right it is. That's what happens when you get behind a shit movie. Uh, and I actually like that movie, and I can admit it was shit. Uh, and I like parts of it, but uh, unfortunately, you know that's the plight of being DC guys, uh, Julio. We're all DC guys here, and uh, eesh, we got an uphill battle. Um, they got this quarter scale Spider Man. If anybody in the chat wants to hear us talk about anything, please shout it out. A quarter scale Iron Man Mark II. So, like, apparently they're doing all the Iron Mans now in quarter scale. Whatever. Um, this was uh, not Asmus. This was Three Zeros Big Reveal, The Night King. You know, eh. Don't Who really cares? Care. Season eight friggin' destroyed the whole friggin' damn story. <laughs> um, and the whole and I. And yeah. I've read all I've read all the books, and I've been I'm invested, and I, I can't. It bothers me to even think of Game of Thrones after season eight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I know. I, I was thinking about rewatching the series or buying the series on uh, Blu-ray for my phone, mm -hmm. like like buying it digitally. And I was like, you know, I'm going to buy this series, and then I'm going to get to the end of the series and be like, I don't even want to watch this. And I don't even want to sound like a snob because some people may have enjoyed it, but I feel as though that when it comes to stories that are as epic like that, and unfortunately, even though I do like The Last Jedi, they need to stick the landing. Like with stories like this, you have to stick the landing. You know, if you don't stick the landing, mm -hmm. it kind of it, it kind of deflates the whole rest of the journey a little bit, you know? Um, they previewed the Hulk's kick scale figure, so pajamas Hulk. Uh, <laughs> Take a look at Shrek or Shrek, 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 Hulk, whatever. I don't care. I hope somebody likes this. I'm sure everyone was going nuts. Oh my God. Hot toys blew the roof off. Blew my mind. It's like, you know what would blow my mind? Actually having a figure from a movie that is actually like classic. And I don't know, like, I don't want to say not good. Cause every Marvel movie has been good. I'm like a huge DC guy and I love the hell out of the entire Marvel cinematic universe. But you gotta give me more, guys. You gotta give me more than just some. I can't feel nostalgic, nostalgic or want for something. I just saw a little while ago. You know, like I can't. I don't know. 
However, here's something that I'm interested in. Out of all of the wanna, reveal, I, I wanna yeah, okay, this. All right, this is what I was gonna bring up. Okay, so after uh, you know, I saw I saw the movie, whatever. You know, I'm on the friggin' Iron Man high, and I'm like, you know, I need an Iron Man. You know, I, I don't have an Iron Man hot toys. So I went and pre-ordered uh what you call it? The uh end game, the original end game version of Iron Man. And it's it's from a store that you really can't like they don't they don't let you freaking cancel the right. pre-order. Like you're locked in to the pre pre-order, and then this comes out, and I'm like, mother, you know, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> so now I'm screwed getting the lesser version that doesn't have all the accessories and has the you know doesn't have the uh, uh what you call the gauntlet and everything and, and you can't cancel but, it. Oh, I mean, what no, I no, I can't cancel it. No, I That's would it. turn around and I would pre-order this and then immediately sell the other one without even opening it. As soon as it comes in, just sell it for the same exact price you bought it for, because chances mm. are both versions are going to sell out. So at least you can get your money back on one to fund this because you know this is coming out later on. They're not going to drop at the same time unless you don't care. You know, yeah, so. that's that is a good idea. Like I wouldn't even open no. it. You come in and I would sell it within the first week of even having it. Like, oh, just got it for this. This is all I want to. I just want to get rid of it for what I paid for it, and then just take mm -hmm. that money from PayPal and put it on this. I'll tell you what. I already have my favorite Iron Man hot toy. I have the Mark's. Uh, the Mark Six is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I never liked really a, a lot of the outfits besides the Mark IV and the Mark VI. I kind of liked some of the other ones in the movies. I did not like either outfit from Endgame. But this is so awesome looking. The head sculpt is so on point. And him holding up the glove with the, with the fingers being able to snap, like with the snap uh, yeah. sculpt in the hands. is just, And you can put him on his knees. I may have to now create like a like a little mini Iron Man shelf where I have like, you know, maybe Tony Stark, Iron Man, Mark Six, and then this, like with him on his knees doing the snap. Because it's just it's such it's such an iconic moment and like it's the perfect ending to his story arc in the movies, which is, you know, basically him, you know, he's he's an egotistical jerk, but in the end, he made the ultimate sacrifice to save everyone. Yeah, this is like it's 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 weird how you we can sit here and crap on Hot Toys for not having such a good show because they're going end game, end game, end game, flavor of the month and all that stuff. And I know they're pleasing a lot of fans with that, but this is something that was so built up and such a great callback with the I am Iron Man and the most epic moment of the movie and all that shit. It just works. And he has the Infinity Gauntlet or his version of it, that is, you know. Uh, it just works. It works for me. I'm probably going to have to get this. I, I really only need one Iron Man in my collection. And uh, even the wife saw this and was like, you might need to get this just for that snap scene. She was and at the very least, you're going to be able to resell this. Uh, Jeff Morris says, um, oh, wow, the guy's back on as White Tyrone. And he, OK, we're going to we're going to report this guy. We're going to report him again. So now we're going to say hate speech and violence. Okay, and we're going to – oh, he's gone. Look at that. Okay, so hopefully his account gets blocked. All right, so awesome. Big, huge thumbs up. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Jeff Morris says he's glad that he didn't pre-order the first Mark 85. He goes, you'll definitely be able to resell it, and I think there will at least be 8 to 12 months difference in release time. Uh, and then Edwin Diaz writes, Tony really loves Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, word. Uh, so – I'm sure you still haven't seen the movie, but whatever. Okay, shout out to Jeff Morris. Here's his one of his favorite reveals. This, this motherfucker. I better not find out who this motherfucker is, bro. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm really trying hard to just completely ignore this guy because if he's going to come on my show every week, then it's obviously the guy from last week uh, who's obviously. Bro, just like say who you are. Don't be a fucking weasel, man. Come out, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah he is. He's a weasel. Don't be a girl. Like, Don't be guys, a they're girl. Always, they're, always, they're always like that, Baz. None of these come guys are men. On. Check it out. I did a picture, and I, I hate sidetracking the show for stuff like this. I really I hate this. We're going to go back to, to stop screen sharing. Uh, I met PJ, the Paradox Nerd, this week, and people were made, we posted pictures up, like funny pictures, like, hey, it's nice to meet each other. You know, like that obligatory, like, hey, you know, that goofy face that we ran into each other picture, and uh, we did it for fun. And um, uh, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, we didn't think that Rob was so short. And I'm 5'7", right? I'm 5'7", 175 pounds, bro. 
I'm not that big of a dude. So for you to be hiding behind a face just goes to show how small you are, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the way it is. Uh, that's the way I see it, at least, you know. So if you were half a man, you would just come out and be like, this is who I am and this is what I think. All right, Iron Patriot. So shout out to Jeff Morris. This is the one thing he kind of likes. Hate- it looks cool. It was only in the movie for five seconds, but it looked cool. I mean, I guess. Like, to me, it's got to do more than look cool. All yeah, it is awesome. I've always liked all Iron these Patriot. figures look cool, man. It's got to be. I need more to spend that kind of money and invest money like this into something besides it just looking cool. Iron Patriot's dope. The only thing is, is like, I'm a big comics fan of the Iron Patriot. Uh, that's uh, Harry Osborn in the Dark Avengers. Right. So it's like it's hard for me to like, you know, like you know, get into this version because this version is you know it's it's Rhodey. Yeah. Well, you know? No, I hear so. you. Um, it's, it is a cool de- deco though. And he's going to be massive. He's going to be chunky and bulky. He's got this yeah. cool rockets on his back and shit. And you got rocket hanging off the side there. I don't know if you guys could see that. There are other pictures online. You can catch like rocket just hanging off of his shoulders. That's pretty cool. Uh, and here, well, here you go. Obviously they're going to be two different figures. So here's rocket hanging off of his shoulder there. Right. Which is cool. I like that. I mean, how many more versions of rocket raccoon do you really need? But this is actually a really nice version. I actually kind of like this version the most probably out of all the rockets I've seen. Probably because it's more of his, his comic look, I think, right? Like, I guess it's more of like his comic uh, style. But uh, Yo, can you, can you, uh, can I take a quick piss? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do you think, man? All right, cool. Uh, Sideshow said they're not even sure if Patriot will ever come out. See, this is, wow, this guy is back on as another person. So we're going to hide you from the channel too. Okay. So um, anyways, uh, let's see. Keep trying to throw me off my game, guy. You're a weasel, bro. Oh, man, are you a weasel? A little punk. Okay. um, Let's see. Let's go to something else. Yeah. Okay. This is what I was going to say, Julio. That's a big problem. That's a big problem I had with a lot of the hot toy reveals. I can't get excited about something that may not ever see the light of day. It's like, all right, we're going to show you all this stuff, but guess what? It's probably not coming out, or it may or may not come out. Uh, Captain America in, you know, space pajamas, whatever, uh, team suit. I, you know, if you want a Captain America, don't you want him in his Captain America uniform? Whatever. All right, Nick Knack, this one's for you if you're still watching, buddy. I know you're a big Padme fan. Um I don't know. I don't really like the prequels at all. I think the head sculpt is a little bit of a miss on this. Hopefully they improve it. The body looks good. The clothing looks good. Again, I don't like the prequels, although I am getting a couple of prequel figures as far as the films go uh, for the collection, which I may or may not even keep. Who knows? But could you stop doing that, you pig? I can't help it, man. I know. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. What do you think, Baz? Padme? This isn't the Padme I think anybody really wanted, though. I think any. I think if I had to put my finger on, it, I think everybody kind of wanted the Geisha Padme. Yeah, that Geisha would... Padme, bro. Come on, enough with this Leia, Leia Padme. Uh, yeah, CM Brock says I stick to DC Hot Toys, sadly. But I'll tell you what, though, you probably save a lot of money, as do I. Uh, Nick Knack, he's all over that one. Yeah, the, the Geisha Geisha uh, Padme, I think, would have been a little bit more of a surprise. That was my pick for the con that you were going to see that version of her. Um, I don't know. This is like a, I guess, an also classic look for her. If you didn't want her all dolled up, but I think as far as a collection goes and a display, if you're going to display Padme, I guess with the rest of the character, like with her husband, with Anakin, then I guess this is the way to go. But I think the Padme that that would probably look gr- the best in anyone's collection would be the one with the face paint from Phantom Menace. You know, that's the most colorful. That's the one that's going to look best on your shelf, personally. Uh, clone trooper. I'm not even looking at. It's just a okay. Another repaint clone figure that'll never see the light of day. Uh, battle droid. Whatever. I hated these things. I always thought they looked like ducks to me. <laughs> they, they have always annoyed me. Those are the dumbest characters in the prequels. The um, power droid. A little trash can. Nick Knack writes. Love that one. Wish her clothes were ripped through from the next you though. Yeah, like when she gets the mid drift with the the slash marks. Hey, you know, Hot Toys loves doing battle damage versions. Uh, here's another one straight up Nick Knack's wheelhouse, and I think they're pretty awesome too because they're shout outs back to the original trilogy, and that's the Jawa set. I think uh, Nick Knack did say, though, in a, a comment somewhere that he thought the um, 
that that they put his sideshow ones to shame. I don't know. I don't. I never had the sideshow ones in person, but the sideshow ones did look pretty good. And this is this the Gonk Droid has been on display for a couple of years now, and I think they finally found a way to release it. Maybe a three pack. Uh, that's what it looks like. So I guess for those of you that want to have more of a Tatooine display, again, they're not main characters, and I'm not that crazy about the Jawas, but they will look great to enhance your Jabba display or your Tatooine display. Uh, let's see. Here's something I was kind of excited about, and Baz is going to want to hang me up by my uh, my nether regions for this one. A Wicket figure! Yay! I love Ewoks. This is my, um, this is this like is, what my love for this, the... This is where Star Wars like took a, a, a left turn, in my view. With the With the Ewoks, right? Yeah, even when I was a little kid, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Where is this movie going? <laughs> When I was watching it, I was like, what the fuck? What is with these teddy bears? I was pissed off. And, and like, I was pissed off because Han Solo was so, like, freaking... It's like he was sleepwalking through that movie. Yeah. And I had waited, like, two or three years to get him out of Carbonite. And I got this neutered Han Solo. So, Let me but ask whatever. You a question. Do you think Han Solo... Here's a question for you. Do you think Han Solo... Or, or, or not Han Solo. Do you think Harrison Ford did a better job as Han Solo in The Force Awakens or Return yes. of the Jedi? Yes, way better, way better. You liked him better in The Force Awakens, right? Yes, I did. Of yeah, course. it was almost like he had to take a 30-year break in order to come <laughs> back into the role. Be like, okay, I'm here again. It's fine. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel that way too. He was definitely. And then I found out that the Ewoks replaced freaking uh, the Wookiees, that the Wookiees originally – was supposed to be in their place. Every and I was time like, we talk about Ewoks, I always say the reason why, because they couldn't afford the Wookiee costumes. And then you go, well, they put them in, you know, the smaller costumes because they were half off. <laughs> I, hate I hate that. I hate it. But I like the Ewoks. I'm all, I'm an Ewok guy. Warwick Davis nub, all the way, man. Nub, nub Nub song is a cool song, though. Kind of it. Nub Nub. Yub, How nub. do you not like the Ewok? You're totally into like tribalism. You're totally into like the Native Americans and all that crazy shit and like uh, scalping people. And these are like <laughs> the cute versions of that. <laughs> yeah, because, yo, did, wasn't, uh, didn't they have like, uh, they gave Princess Leia her, like some dress that they had laying around? And yeah. People were like, where'd, where'd they get that dress? And, and, and like the people that they ate prior, dude. Yeah, they, they were, were good. They were, they were cooking people, dude. They yes, yes. Them. You know they're like they're pretty like you know evil, vicious uh, mfers. You know what I'm saying? All right, I, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. <laughs> but I, I think I was more like upset about eating monsters in order for you to be like, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yo, but, I saw this. I saw this this meme of like it was it was Ewok related, and it said uh, something about. Uh, so I forgot what it was, but it was like something about this is the saddest moment in in uh, movie history. And then it goes, no, this is, and it shows like uh, the the one Ewok like trying to move another Ewok who's motionless on the ground. Yeah, yeah remember that scene? Right. He's like, wah, wah, and he's like fucking dead and shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty pretty powerful, man. Jeff Morris, like, how good this looks! I don't understand how Chewbacca looks so bad. The Chewbacca from the from the original trip from the um, episode four looks kind of weird right out of the package, but when you mess with his hair, like I mess with his hair a lot, and I kind of like took my time, put some time into it. It actually looks pretty damn good now. I'll take a picture and put it up eventually. Uh, Jeff Morris writes they're the piranhas of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. awesome. All right, I like I like Ewoks a little bit a little bit more after tonight. R five D four. All right, cool. Again, they'll go with your Jawa display. You know, is it going to get made? I don't know. Maybe, probably not. If I had to guess, they'll probably make another Marvel character before this. But all right, did, did friggin' R two D two use the Force and blow that fucker up? Uh, because some people no, say that R two D two has the Force, man, and I think he does. No, he didn't. There's actually in in a book, and this is canon. In a, uh, we got to go back to this bullshit now. Let's uh, stop this. Okay. There's a book called, um, it's like little mini stories, like mini short stories, and it's supposed to yeah. fill in gaps during episode four and and like thereafter, like in like, a fan, like the Phantom Menace and like episode four, a little bit of episode five and, and six. And uh, it's all like little mini stories that happened kind of between the scenes that you didn't see. And one of them is 
uh, the scene where R2 is actually talking to him and pleading with him in, in, in binary during that scene. And he's telling him like, like, yo man, you got to step back because like the fate of the galaxy rests on my shoulders and I have to get this message to this guy. And R5D4 just wanted to kind of like come forward and, and not be a slave anymore to them. So he just self destructs of himself and he's like, well, good luck, my friend. Kinda, and it's like a send off. So he oh, actually like self destructs himself. Get the like, fuck out of here! Kid. So yeah. he's a hero too, man. He sacrificed he's sacrificed himself. He was like ignoring Holy him shit. for a while. And he was like, dude, like I'm trying to like, like you know, get out of where we're stuck. And R two was like, dude, you have to let me do this. And he's like telling him the story and all that. And you know, because like computers speak real fast or whatever. And he basically gets the gist it's of it. Fucking like, brilliant. Right. Himself in order to let R two be picked. That and, is uh, that's awesome. Where is where is that? It's called the um from a certain point of view. It's called. It's a Star Wars book. It's about this mm. big, and, like, a bunch of mini stories. Called Star okay. Wars. I still okay, want to look. I still yeah. want to look Star Wars Nick, again. There you go. Nick Nack says he, he just said uh, he sabotaged his motivator. That's exactly what happened. Mm. Okay, it's back to screen share. All right, come on. Let's. It's nine o'clock. Let's try and blow through this a little bit. Hold on, I gotta ask you a quick question. Can you look at Diamond Select stuff on, on this page? No, right? Not on this page. Why Diamond Select had some, some cool stuff too? I wanted to show uh, yeah, I wanted to show Nick Knack, uh, because I know he's a black hole fan. They they're uh they got uh, black hole uh, figures. Hold on. D I A M Diamond Select S T C And then we should we should go look at the He Man stuff too. Uh Okay, let's see. Diamond Select Toys Marvel. Let's see. They, yeah. Oh, look, more Marvel. Yeah. Good old toy arc. Is it, oh, is this? Oh, I, old, on, I, think, uh, I think I might have clicked on the wrong thing. I think I clicked on the Marvel stuff. Hold on. Marvel, yeah, okay. okay. DC, Diamond Select, uh, Toys in general. Come there on. you go. Come on. It's, and it's got the kind there of layout go. we like, too. There you go. That, there it is. That's nice. the black hole. There's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, they're doing like a uh, like animated JLA, like a uh, actual affordable. Uh, well, maybe not that affordable. One hundred and fifty dollars statues. Okay, they all look like they kind of link together though with the city background, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Um. Oh, these. Uh, oh, yo, the animated busts for X Men are fucking awesome, bro. Especially the Magneto. Wolverine looks pretty good. She looks good. Oh, the Magneto looks good, man. Right? Yo, that Magneto looks really good. Yeah. It looks yeah. like he's straight out of the cartoon. Yeah, that looks good, man. I like it. Oh, I like the site. I see how they have like the animated style um, like paint job on them. It looks good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, there's a big call for like the um for the for the for the X-Men cartoon. I hope that they succeed in revitalizing that cartoon. Uh it should, you know, I love that freaking cartoon. That's their best to me. That's their best cartoon on Marvel. That and Earth's Mightiest Heroes that came out maybe. Uh, yeah, I hear that one was really good too. All right, hold on a second. Google back to Google, and we're gonna do Mondo. M O N D Mondo Masters of the Universe. S D C C. On the Mondo booth. Let's see. All right. There we go. Rick and Morty is so awesome. That cartoon is so damn good. <laughs> did you did you see the whole series so far? Yeah, man. I, me and Laura blew through that, man. It was great. Show us what Please. you got, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that the, uh, good. These are cool because I just love the fact that they're doing the animated uh, color scheme on them. It looks dope. What's the scale, though? Those are large scale, though, right? Yeah, they're, these are one-sixth. They're okay. big. Big Kratos. Oh, Kratos. Nice. Dune. Here you go. This this is one of my this made my top ten, my mental top ten that I'm I never fucking did. Duncan man. I love freaking man at arms. He looks good here, man. The detail in him looks really good. I love the bristles. The shield. The shield looks good. Here you go, Julio. This one's for you, buddy. Um Ah, it looks great. This looks like it has some soft goods in there on the boot and then the the pleather over here around the skirt area. Damn, damn. It looks good, man. Wow, I'm digging it. Yeah, he looks really good. I don't. Again, this is big. This is too big for me. I mean, I know I do. I, do, do I, would, I might just get him. Just him. Just right? play him. He's just so awesome, man. I just, I love, I love that outfit. I just love the, 
the, the attorney and guard outfits. He looks good. I'm not really that crazy about Skeletor. I don't know why. There's something about the Skeletor that just seems off to me. Uh, it's kind of like they're doing their own little version in a way. It's not totally yeah, faithful. It's we. I, I don't know. And I'm a, I'm a big time Skeletor fan. However, Hordak, yeah, Block, Hordak looks great. He looks really freaking good, man. The uh, the detailing in the. Uh, Julio yeah. says that uh, uh, that Skeletor is a Hot Topic exclusive. Hot Topic is still around. That's weird. Oh, yeah, we have one in the mall up here. So I don't know. I think Hordak looks really great. Uh, Julio, you doing all these figures or what, man? I mean, I'm, uh, you're gonna stick with like the, the the Trinity of these characters, or are you going all in? Because those are some pretty big ass figures to go all in and all in with, rather. Uh, he looks great. Faker looks really good too. And I think the probably the best one might even be Merman. Baker looks. I, I heard that they cast uh, what you call it, uh, the guy who played uh, Michael Shannon as Skeletor. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's huge, man. That's freaking huge. Look at how good Merman looks. He looks really freaking good, man. The eyes on that him look really, really well done. Oh, what's a battle damage freaking uh, Faker? Yeah, look at that with the torn away face, the skull underneath looks good. His figures look good, man. The detailing on his outfit looks great. They could do so much more in, in six scale than they can in the smaller scales. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like this merman face, which is more the modern, I think, merman as opposed to the other one? What do you think, Julio? This one? Yep, he's doing them all. I already have He-Man and Skeletor. <laughs> Tucker for Masters of the Universe figures. Damn. That's crazy. I think it looks great. I, I, think, I, think, I really do. I think they look absolutely great. Um, I, I have most of the uh, Mattel uh, six inch stuff, not yeah, everything. Patty Collector, uh, Mass of the Universe, right? Yeah, you went yeah. on that for a while, man. Yeah, I, I don't have like uh, I don't have like all of the giants. Like I don't have the the what's his name? Gang I forgot the name of the dragon. I don't have the dragon. Yeah. And Titus, I think that was one of the name of the giants. I forgot. Oh, here's your exclusive. You can see that his face is glow in the dark. I hate gimmicks like that. Just give me the damn figure. You know, you know what would look best? An Alcala head on this. That's what you need. That's what. Oh yeah. Need. The Alcala head is the scariest version of him, in my opinion. But uh, they're freaking huge, man. These are like big Masters of the Universe classics with more detail, and I love the cloth cape on them. That's that's my favorite version of Masters is the uh, Alcala mini comics, the early ones. Yeah. I know a lot of people like the uh, the cartoon or is nostalgic for the cartoon. I gotta go. I gotta be with Baz on this. I'm going mini comics. They just it was more grittier. Yeah, and, uh, it, it didn't have the silliness that the cartoon had. Well, the cartoon was cool too because that's kind of what I watched by default. But um, I just like the designs of the characters from the Alcala one better. All right. Okay, let's see. Best been Luke Skywalker re release with a different head sculpt. What do you think, Baz? I don't know. I think, is it time for an update on mine? I don't know if that's Mark Hamill enough for me to update my uh, my figure, dude. Mm. It depends. It really depends on what it looks like, what he's going to come with. It really depends on what the underlying body is. It really depends if he comes with stuff where I can show him in his, like, you know, when he was training with Yoda and stuff like that, if he's going to come with the backpack. I like the hair sculpt better on this than I like on the DX07. But the face, I don't know. I don't like that sideways look. I don't like the – and I like more expressive head sculpts. But this looks to me like you could only pose him in this pose with the sideways eyes. Otherwise, Jedi, he, Jedi Luke. Jedi Luke had a better face sculpt from what I'm seeing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like – I love what they did with the outfit and the body. The update to the leather around the, the waistband is definitely needed uh, But because mine's already starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Nick Knack, my DXO7 look is still pretty great. Um, yeah, exactly. Mine too. So I don't my, know. My, my best pin Luke is going to be the Star Wars Black that they're coming out with that they, uh, they showed at STCC. That's uh, what you call it. Is that part of their Hyper Real collection? No, just the Star Wars Black. Right. Okay. I'm not looking at the favorite quarter scale. We Robin, what's, what's up? The Robin, yes. We uh, someone talked said we, we should talk about bat nipples because he's going to come back on and rewatch the show. This to me just kind of makes no sense because there's no Batman to go with him. Do I like it? I'm not getting it for my collection. This looks like an articulation nightmare. You're not going to be able to do anything with this outfit, uh, posability wise. I don't know bat nipples. I got to I got to give it a thumbs down, man. 
I'm, I'm thumbs up for look those. At the, look at the Robin junk. Oh look yeah, the Robin junk. That's actually accurate. Robin had a big giant bulge in the movie too. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. To me, I don't need a Chris O'Donnell Robin. Everyone's jonesing over every iteration. I want a. I want them to finish the Burton stuff before they get into the bad Batman movies. You know, like I'd rather them just do. Listen, Batman. for it really was forever that bad, man. Forever was kind of good, dude. When it came out, we liked it. You know. Uh yeah no I like I had a I had a rewatch forever again when I did the review for the uh, unofficial Michael Keaton Academy of Getting Nuts Facebook page mm-hmm. I I was in one of their reviews and I had to do a review on Batman Forever and it was just goofy it's funny looking back on it now it's like it's really silly but um yeah at the time it was great because it was the had the best fight scenes at the time yeah. it had the best Batman fight scenes in it but I don't know it's like I don't know man. I'm just kind of like, eh, with this. I think the outfit's not, like, metallic-looking enough as it was in the movie. It's too matte-colored. I think this was just kind of slapped. It feels slapped together. I don't know. I got to see a, a more up-close sculpt of the head. But for now, it just seems slapped t- together for me. Kinda that's like, a, oh, that's, no, that's a buy for me. Oh, you're, you're doing this, huh? Fuck yeah. It's Robin, dude. It's fucking wow. Robin. <laughs> that's, that's my shit, bro. Batman and Robin, that's... That's freaking top of the list. Uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of them delving into the uh, the CW? What? Oh, shit. That's an actual six. Whoa. Yeah, that's Hot it. Toys, Six Scale, CW, Season Whoa. 1. Whoa. Right. I did not know about this. That yes. is nice. It does look good. The head sculpt on it looks Damn. really good. Um, First, whoa. I'm, I was not ready for this. Um, I'm like, like well, going away. what I'm kind of like eh, about. I never really liked the season one, even though season one of Flash was great. I like the color scheme in season two better, the brighter colors on the Flash as opposed to the maroon. The head scope looks great on it, though, and I would pre- I would have preferred an arrow because I do prefer the green arrow show. But, uh, I mean, this is pretty cool. Is it going to see the light of the day? Who the hell knows at this point? I hope, I hope so. I'm, I'm getting that. I'm definitely getting that. Uh, I'll tell you. I, I, I think the season one of, of the Flash is like one of the best first seasons ever of anything. Yeah. No. Totally. Totally. I'll that you, and uh, Spartacus. <laughs> I would. Oh, oh yeah. I would. I had. I gotta almost hope this does great, like really great numbers, because I would love to see a Jay Garrick. Uh, oh, now you're talking. You know, I would love to see the original Flash as. Uh, uh, in his updated Jake Garrick for for the Flash season three, I think it was at the end of season. No, it was season two, right? Season two or three, something like that. But he was Jake Garrick. Uh, CM Brox, I love the shows, but not enough to buy figures from them. Uh, Michael B. Forever was okay. Batman and Robin sucked. Um, here's my problem with Batman and Robin. I'm a big Batman '66 Batman fan, and a lot of some of my friends have been like, "You got to look at it in terms of." You know the '66 show, and I'm like, "Yeah, but they tried to do the '66 show, but just not as good." It's like the 66 show is actually better, in my opinion, than Batman and Robin. No, nah, not to me. It's it's an it's a modern version of 66 show. Oh God, you're gonna you're gonna come here and try to wax poetic about that piece of shit of a movie? Unbelievable. All right, it was it was a take on it that the the public did not you know want, but it was if you looked at it from that perspective as as an homage to the 66 show. More, it, it, they said before. I remember they were promoting it as a, a campy version of Batman. Like they knew what they were doing. But you know, listen, Bat, Batgirl was terrible. Alicia Silverstone was horrible. Yeah, I think I think that whole thing. If you cut that out, it would, would have been a better movie. But yeah, you know, people wanted the more serious, darker Batman at at that age. You know, at that time, and they still do. So all right, you know, Pat. Anyway, do you get the sixth scale? Tony Stark hot toy, or do you go with the one tenth scale statue for yeah, a one- <laughs> what, what size is one tenth uh, scale? Because I'm not up on the statue scales. About uh, eight to ten inches, about like nine ten inch range, like around there. I don't like the sculpt of that either. It's not. It's, it doesn't even look as good as uh, yeah. the hot toy. The hot toy looks a little bit more detailed than that statue. The uh the the Captain America is okay. It's pretty decent. I don't know. I guess it's it's good if you're uh Spider Man is dope though from uh what you call it um Spider Verse. Yeah, well definitely the cartoony stuff is gonna look better, and you can all put them together and make like a little Spider Verse kind of like display. You got Miles, Gwen, uh, Noir, Noir, and Pig. 
Spider Pig. That's pretty cool. The movie was damn freaking good, man. Yeah, it was really good. And uh, and obviously Coffee Spider Man, as I call him, <laughs> Belly Donut Spider Man. Peter B. Parker. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, you know, whatever. Let's see. Scrolling by bobblehead mask. Uh, th- these things do nothing for me. Um, give you guys a heads up. Coming uh, either next week or the week after, I'm gonna have a person on from. We're gonna have a guest from. Uh, we're working on getting the one of the art directors from. What the hell is that? Uh, 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 Cryptozoic is going to be on. Our good friend Amanda will be coming on the show to discuss all the releases from Cryptozoic that they had from the con, and she'll be able to go to more in depth of like how behind the the scenes business stuff. And this is what I like to say too. First of all, she's a mad cool person, so it'd be cool just to get her on. However, if you're not into um, like the the Cryptozoic stuff, which is pretty awesome in and of itself, what's cool is that. By just getting a little bit of an inside the the industry perspective from somebody uh, is always nice. So they might not work for Hot Toys or work for Sideshow or whatever, but having somebody that works in the industry and kind of knows how things work, you could kind of maybe ask questions about how things work in the industry and why do we see the certain things and how long things take to get made and all that other nonsense. So you, for you guys that are kind of in the fence, like, ah, I'm not really that much into Cryptozoic, you don't have to be for that episode but definitely tune in because she's a, a, a mad cool person anyway all right back to the screen share back to business uh, uh updated six scale captain america america's ass version again how many versions of captain america are we gonna have i don't know i think this body needs a huge rework or a better underlying body because he looks like i don't know he looks like steve rogers before he took the super soldier serum in my opinion especially yeah. the picture he looks like a uh, spider shrimp i love the head sculpt I like this outfit minus the 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 head the the from the movie. Like I always like this Avengers Alfred version of him. Not my favorite. Yo, it looked like he skipped chest. Yeah, and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> his biceps are bigger than his uh, his pecs. It's a little weird, but um, so they're re-releasing him. And you know that every I tell you what my prediction is: Sideshow is releasing every Marvel character, and everyone that's not Marvel isn't going to get released. That's my prediction. Um, hey, hey, Baz, look, they have the Star Force version of Captain Marvel and the Yang Rong six scale figures. Are you excited? Are you just as excited as all the other people? I'm not excited. Yeah, sure. <laughs> whatever. Wonderful. Yeah, whatever. Spider Man light up function, Spider Man. I don't care about that either, even though the outfit's awesome. And they had a bunch of other outfits from the video game, so you're pretty much going to get every outfit from the video game. This, this to me, was my what the shit moment when I saw this. I actually wrote, what the hell is this? War Machine Neon Tech? What is this? Oh, my God. I don't know if I'm more confused about this or that Beyonce print that they're trying to pick up (laughs) $800. Like, I, I don't get this. I don't understand. First of all, this is hideous. It's not even aesthetically nice looking. Uh, it looks like Halloween uh, cosplay, kind of weird. I, I don't get it. Something that has nothing to do with any of the movies, just neon versions of characters now. I mean, that's just silly. Sorry to crap all over you. If you guys like it, that's cool. I'm glad you guys are getting what you're getting. To me, it's just a complete waste of Yeah, you know, like, you know, these are just our opinions, man. We can't like, we don't like everything. Nobody likes everything. Don't take yeah. it personal. You know, we all have different tastes, you know. Well, that's just it, too. I'm not going to say, like, oh, yay. Let's see. All right. Let me. Here's another, here's another reason to kind of cut the press stop for a second. I notice on a lot of other channels, okay, people like to sing Kumbaya together. Everyone's like, yay, this is great. Yay, let's spend all this money together. We don't do that here. Uh, we're going to be as honest and upfront as possible. Um, I was actually counseled. I was counseled recently by a few different people. So for the person watching this, thinks that it's them, it's not just you. That uh, if you want to be in the industry and you want to be kind of down with stuff, you got to kind of sing Kumbaya a little bit more and be like, yay, look at all this stuff so that I can get sponsorship from a hot, big company. I would love for one of these companies to sponsorship me, uh, sponsor, sponsor the show. Um, for me to get sideshow sponsorship, I'm like 8,000 subs away from that. 
So I'm not really worried about it right now, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to be as honest and upfront with you guys 100% of the time as much as I can. I'm going to try to wheel back on the language a little bit because it's it was kind of actually bothering me a little. But other than that, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. So if there's something that I think is whack, it doesn't mean I think you're whack for owning it. And neither does Baz. We think it's cool if you like it. It's just not for us. But we're not just going to say that. We're from New York. We just say it like it is. Is that cool? Is that good enough? Yeah. My opinion is not object objective truth. It's just my stupid fucking opinion. Yeah. It's my All right, opinion. Anyway. My opinion. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. C CM Brock says, uh, did y'all see the... DC Sideshow Collectibles. DC and I asked them, like, what? Sideshow Collectibles. Yeah, that was the Wonder Woman and the Superman. I'm trying to find it. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, by the way, for those that are asking, that well, they showed off this Flash Premium Format uh, statue everyone's going crazy for. I think it looks hideous. I still think the Superman and the old school Wonder Woman blow anything I've seen so far out of the water. The Gambit one looks really good. The Gambit statue looks really damn good. I'm not a big <laughs> Gambit so I'll be getting Gambit in Mezco style for my X-Men display, but I'm not a, but I am a big Flash fan, and I think the statue looks, it just looks hideous. And that's in my opinion, of course, always. And you know what they say? Opinions are like assholes. We all have them. Uh, I got to try to, now you're going to force me to go on Facebook, Facebook, and we're going to try and find that so we can comment on it. Baz, did you see them? 112? No, I didn't. Who is Richie Zaccone? <laughs> Richie Zaccone. I have no idea. He had wife with his dinner. Uh, hold on, hold on. Anniversary dinner oh, with my he, best friend. Yeah, he's a member of the right. He's he's part of the the family here. Awesome. Yeah, he's seven. Part of the family. Uh, let's see. One six Republic. OSR. Up oh, Hawkeye. Marvel Studios Hawkeye movie just announced in Hall H, San Diego Comic Con. Marvel Studios Hawkeye with Jeremy Renner and original series will also introduce Kate Bishop. Nice, awesome. So he's going to be in it. So that's cool. I'm down. I kind of remember hearing something about that. Just when you thought my wallet might be able to take a break. Let's see if we can see what's coming out here. Here's the Phase Four. Let's see. Starting in 2020. Untitled. 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 Come on. Untitled with this bullshit. This is ridiculous. Okay, everyone, you're getting a lot of movies coming out. Wonderful. Let's see. We're getting two, three movies from Marvel next year. The 2021, we're getting one, two, three, four movies in 2020. Five movies in 2021. Wow. I, you know, dude, I think it's too much, man. It's too much. Five, six movies in 2021. Seven it's movies in 2021. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Marvel movies in 2021. Yeah, man. I want to watch normal movies, too. Yeah, no. They're gonna, they're, they're, <laughs> I don't want to just watch Marvel movies, man. Yeah. Well, guess it, what? It's they're, flooding, they're flooding the market, you know? And I, I love them. I enjoy them. But shit, man. I want another genre to, to you know... This rise in problems. Movies though, these might not all be movies. These might also be like TV series though coming out also. Dude, I, let's bring back the western for a little while. Something. Yeah, <laughs> we are just a western movie. Yeah, I want to see a really good gritty western movie based in history. Or something. Oh, look at this! Someone must be pooping their pants. You got Susan and our boy Zach, and I guess this is his partner. Zach's one of Zach's buddies that, that does mm -hmm. the MSIB with him. I don't know who this gentleman is. I'm pretty sure I should know who that is, but I don't. Uh, Zach, who collects uh, the shipper boxes. Yeah, exactly. He'll be on the show <laughs> in the next couple of weeks. Okay, just, just announced in Hold H, Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with Benedict Cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen. Wow. What? Yeah. Scarlet Witch. And yo, they're bringing the multiverse into it for, for real? Uh, yeah. Look at that. You wow. thought you were getting swerved but far from home, and now you're getting the multiverse and Doctor Strange. Oh, that's awesome. And and Scott, which is going to be in it. That's cool, that's man. That's great. Cool I love fucking those characters. I love Doctor Strange. Right, just announced in Hall H Marvel Studios What If, the first animated series in the MCU with Jeffrey Wright as the voice of the Watcher. Oh, okay, then... okay, all right, enough. We, we're still looking for DC, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. What well, the Falcon and Winter Soldier? All right, enough. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Shang Chi. Yeah, okay. And the Legend of the Ten Rings. There you oh, go. Oh, there's Mandarin. There's Mandarin. <laughs> there you go. You get your Mandarin. 
<laughs> I want Namor, bro. I want to see Namor. Oh God. Oh look, that we all found that. You know, it was all uh, at Loki TV show. <laughs> uh, let's see. All dates are subject to change. Of course they are. And the Eternals. I don't give a shit about those characters, but I'm sure they'll be the. the I didn't give a shit about the Guardians of the Galaxy either, and that was great. Uh okay. WandaVision <laughs> TV show. <laughs> Everything coming soon from Marvel. Uh, What's that? The, the Batman Forever up there. What was that? Oh, uh, let's see. Sources unconfirmed, but I'm uh, but I'm not surprised if they make Batman Forever since we've already soared in their office. Bespin is a nice reissue. Blah blah. blah. Okay, it says here. Shit. Uh, so so they're going backwards. They're doing Robin first, and then Val Kilmer Batman. Yeah, I remember now that he mentions it, they didn't. They did show a Val Kilmer Batman back in like a a, a teaser like a while ago. A while. Oh, ago. And, dude, tell me you won't get a freaking Jim Carrey Riddler, bro. Uh, no way. I hated him as the Riddler. Oh, oh shut up. Jim Carrey I, was a shit in 94. Man. man. Oh, God. I hate you. And I hate He sucked, you. but you like the original uh, Gorshin, Frank Gorshin. Uh, yes, Riddler, because it fit. Well, you know what? He's basically doing Harry. him. Look, man, some shit you're just going to have to figure out for yourself. All right. All right. I got to find out here. D like, should I just type in DC in the search box up here? One Six Republic. No, I don't, I don't know how to search in something. One six. I gotta go back to this again. Damn it! Where the hell is the friggin'? You know what? So, uh, where do I click on images? Images. There's got to be images in this, like, like where you can just look at images. Uh, images. Add photo, video, write post, more. No, share, joined, more. This, that's what I. You know, I was thinking about that. That's what I want to see. The image universe. I want to see their movies now. I want to see Wildcats. I want to see the authority. About discussion chats, announcements, members, events, videos, photos. Here we go. Photos. Now I should just be able to zip through all the photos that have been shown off for the last few days. And we should be able to get right to it. A lot of, uh, a lot of customs. Okay. This is really cool. Some dude's doing a custom of the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Um, so if you guys have the Blitzway figures, you guys can get a, a one six scale custom, uh, you know, container. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Joker up the butt. Joker up the butt. <laughs> get your Joker up the butt. Collections, come on. Where are the reveals? Yeah, I can't stand this. Like, there's just so much. This is what happens when you're on a page with twenty thousand. Different people. I hope I'm on the right page too, being that this is OSR and not like maybe I should be looking on like the Sideshow Collectibles fan page. Maybe just go to, to you know, you know, put in Toy News Eye in the, in the search and then click on the. Uh, Here we go. Select or Here you go. Oh. Here you go. One to one. She's all right. She's, She's all right. Good. I don't know. I think the face sculpt isn't the problem. I don't like the pale body. I think the body being that pale kind of bothers me. Wonder mm -hmm. Woman being in my head like Mediterranean, she deserves like a, a darker skin complexion kind of. But um, it's it's all right. It's, it's it's all right. I'm not crazy about it. I gotta, I gotta see more. Is that the only picture? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen that picture before. Is there no nothing else from her? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, n nothing else as far as like what, nobody else. Nobody, I guess, really cared enough to take other photos, which is. I oh, think that's sad. It is sad. It's is that the sculpted hair, or is it's this sculpted a hair. Yeah, here's a close-up shot. There's sculpted hair. I like. I'm a sculpted hair guy. You know, I got to go with the sculpted hair look. Um, because it just it just look. They're, they're still figures. I don't want to have like a kidnap a, a lady and have her and like shrink raid her down, kind of. I don't really. I just want the figure to look like an awesome figure. Uh, why aren't they? Why can't we get a picture of the Superman now? The what, Superman. What, what is that joke? Let me uh, go further up. Somebody is like a DC joke or meme. Up. Ah, forget it. You lost it. Oh, remember when Hot Toys teased DC figures? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> 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 there you go. There, there it is. Go. Yep, it's hard being the DC guy in this day and age. It really is. Um, <clears throat> let's see. 
Howard. I wish somebody would get an interview with Howard Chan and be like, yo, what's going on? Like, and people always defend, like, why would you ask him? He's showing you off all these things. Why would you even want to ask him about the Batman Returns stuff? And it's like, I would ask him, what makes you go to Batman forever before finishing Batman Returns? Like, why not finish something? Did you lose the license for it? Are you not going to make it? Is it off the table? Like, this is stuff we kind of need to know here, guys. You know, oh, by the way, Bat Batman Hush is out on digital right now. Oh, nice. You'd probably be able to catch that. I'm not liking the idea that they changed a lot of them here and they changed a lot of the story. That kind of mm -hmm. bothers me a little bit. I don't know. Kind of kind of bugging me a little, but I I'm going to watch it. And again. they're debuting uh, the, what you call it, um, the Hush character in uh, Batwoman. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, again. That, that, show, that show looks like a train wreck. Yeah, and I want to like it too. I want to like it. I really hope it's great. Uh, just it's scream. All right, enough of this. I'm scrolling for pages about this shit. The new, all right, CM Brock, the new fucking Superman looks great. All right, it looked pretty good as far as I could tell. It looked a lot better than that last release, which looked oh, horrible. That last Superman release, which I'm weirded out by because I'm actually on the Sideshow website now and I'm looking and there's no sign of Superman at all. On this, so it's just weird to me why they would do that, but whatever, it is what it is. Speaking uh, of Superman, uh, Brandon Routh is going to reprise his role as Superman in the uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover next year. I think on that's the CW. Awesome. I think that's great. What do you think? Oh, it's great! It's so good. And and uh, Burt Ward. Yep, Burt Ward's going to be on the show. Hopefully, reply reprising his roles. Right, it would be cool. I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he's going to play like some desk clerk or some nonsense. That's please easy. play an older Robin, please. You know, I would like him to like they go into the multiverse and they see him as like an older Robin, and he's like, "Oh, Batman, like passed in my world," and you know, like yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Like Gotham, like you want to keep it sixty six and campy and funny, make it like Batman and Robin cleaned up Gotham and actually won, and then Batman got the two of them got old together and Batman passed, and he's like, "I'm just here to kind of like, you know, I'm retired now." That would be cool. That'd and be cool. they and they have uh, what's her name the girl. Actress who plays Wonder Woman, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Wet. No, what's her name? Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Yeah, she is a re uh, no, she's a part time regular. She plays like the president of the, of the United States on Supergirl. Yeah, so they've had her on, on the show before, so just put her in as Wonder Woman. Can we try our so, best yeah. to not insult, uh, not get ourselves booted off of YouTube right now by talking about the updated suit for Supergirl? What? Why they would put us off? Probably because my next comment would be, "Where is her the, the the rest of her cover up?" Because now all they're trying to do is take these female superheroes and cover them up. You must be covered. You must cover yourself. And you know they got rid of the skirt. They gave her pants. And she was, it was like a breakout moment. She was like, "Oh, I'm so proud and happy. We've gotten to this point now." And it's like gotten to this point. What she said that? Yeah, like like gotten like not that exactly, but she said something more along the lines of that she was. Uh, it's a proud, like, strong moment for her to to finally be able to get out of the skirt and break that, like, um, you know, like that that like women have to be in skirts kind of type thing. Like, I, I don't know how she. They don't that. have to be. Like, what era do they think they're they're living in? These people. I, I don't. I don't understand it. I, I really don't. I thought the skirt look was great. I think that the pants look looks a little weird. I think they covered. It, she's covered from her neck to her feet. Like covered, like they even gave her the sleeves where like the thumb goes in, which I kind of. Do they like. want to go? They want to go backwards. Do they want to wear like you know like how women uh, women used to wear like full body suits when they used to go bathing? Yeah, yo, it's funny. You know, like, the, uh, I mean, in uh, in uh, on the Wildwood Boardwalk, there's a uh, an eatery where you eat and they, you sit down and you see like all the bathing suits on the walls from like the different eras, and it's like mm -hmm. nineteen like. 19 then it's like 1920 1930 40 50 and it takes you through all the bathing suits that you had to wear on the jersey shore throughout time like where you wouldn't get a ticket or whatever and then like back in like 1919 girls had to wear like it was like just their head but like they had to wear like gloves <laughs> and stuff it was ridiculous man but um so somehow they're working their way their self way back to that yeah i, I don't understand it yeah. either i look, look whatever man i'm not like a lot of people will automatically jump on our throats for saying this and be like, you guys are the, you know, you, you anti-feminists and women are only for looks and all that. No, that's not what we are here. We just, I was just trying to talk to my wife about this and it's like, shouldn't the female body be celebrated? Like, shouldn't a girl be proud 
of the the mother earthness connection like even mm -hmm. back in the old days like like cavemen they used to shape women with the big hips and like the earth giving goddess like the voluptuous women statues of like the but back in cavemen days like we worshiped that look and it's like it's to me that's just something to be celebrated i don't know man you know that's like the way i look at it it's like why turn your back on something that's supposed to be make you meanwhile nobody complains awesome. Nobody complains about Jason Momoa without his shirt on in Aquaman, so no, then it's fine. You know, nobody also complained when Jason yeah. Momoa was was raping uh what's her face? Uh da Daenerys Targaryen in the first uh season. All right, All right. this this is this is where they uh, YouTube boots us. Okay. I know, I know. All right, we, we gotta stop. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Uh CM Brock writes, there are tons of strip clubs though and twerk videos. So yeah, no, I'm not talking about the eye candy aspect. I'm just talking about let them be them. Be proud of being feminine. Like it's nice. It's just a nice thing. Whatever. I don't need the strip club look. You know, my wife used to wear a skirt every day to work. She looked great. Listen, you know? listen, if you if you got it, you got it. Work it. If you don't got it, then work something else. You gotta figure it out. That's it, man. You know, you you can't change your what I don't wear the guinea anymore. Man. You know, I don't wear tank tops. When I was working out in my 20s and I was diesel, I used to wear the tank top. Now I go with, you know, shirts. You know what I'm saying? It's just resent, resentful people who are bitter and they want to change it, change things for everybody. You know what I mean? How things are. But you can't change you can't change nature. So, But I do like the idea that Brandon Routh – I heard that Brandon Routh is actually not playing his version of Superman, though, which kind of bothered me a little bit. I had heard that he's playing – uh kingdom come superman actually well as long as he's in the suit man who cares but hold on uh nick nets nick Nack says don't mind me i'm just here sipping my gamer girl bath water here <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's, oh, that's, terrible. Awesome. that's great just she was selling that for 30 dollars. god bless her capitalist uh soul yeah yeah hell yeah and she made a fortune on it she, yeah. she totally made a fortune on that. Um, so all right, that's I think that was it from Comic Con, right? Anything else get released, guys? Anything anybody in the chat know of anything that got released that you guys were excited for? Baz, my must haves from San Diego. I'm saying it now. I'm going with Jimi Hendrix, I'm going with Bill and Ted, but I'm holding off on Jimi Hendrix to make sure that this isn't gonna be just a one off thing. I may have to buy it just to hold on to it. I don't know if I'm going to go totally into the whole musician realm, uh, so to speak. But I really, I got to support what you like, and I would love for them to do a kiss. Uh, yeah, Edwin Diaz says it is the Kingdom Come Superman. Just our pick. So I'm going Bill and Ted. Oh, oh there's a photo out. Oh shit. No, no, not of him in the suit. It's just a photo of of Kingdom Come oh, Superman. Oh, okay. I would have went immediately and picked that up. Yeah. Um, there I'm going with Bill and Ted. I'm going with Iron Man. I am Iron Man with the finger snap six scale. Uh, I'm very, very disappointed in Hot Toys for not showing a Bespin, uh, Han Solo, or Orlando. I think Lando is way overdue at this point. A Billy D. Williams Lando is like insanely overdue. I think that was everybody's prediction for the con. I think everybody thought they were going to have a Bespin Han and a Lando. They didn't. Uh, big, big ball drop there in my, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and said they showed the, the remake of the Luke Skywalker, whatever. I'm happy. The people that don't have the DX7, awesome. Big thumbs up. Hey, I might even get it to update. I don't know. Right now, I'm on the fence with it. But my only two must-haves for the six-scale stuff was um, was Bill and Ted and the Jimi Hendrix and, they, oh, and the Iron Man. Those, that's what I'm doing for, for Hot Toys. Uh, do you, we'll go company by company. Baz, any must-haves? Must have uh, Marvel Legends because I'm still a you know Legends guy. Um, Doom, definitely getting Doom. That's a must-have. Um, the X-Men 3-pack with Cyclops, Gene, and, and Wolverine. Um, Hot Toys, Robin, definitely Robin. Uh, I may pre-order the, the Iron Man with the Snap and sell the other one that, you know, that I pre-ordered pre uh, you know, prior. Um, other than that, maybe... Uh, I'm looking into the Moffex Hush, Moffex DK, uh, Dark Knight Returns stuff. I'm yeah, intrigued that by it. pretty cool. Uh, what else was there? Um, still thinking about that Captain America's uh, statue, the sideshow statue with the the scale outfit and the uh, right, right. We looked at it like a few weeks ago. 
Yeah. Yep. yep. With the wings and everything. Old school cap. He's got that like, pose, the power pose. And uh, other than that, yeah, that's about it. Edwin Diaz says, worst movie title coming. So I guess he must know something we don't right now. Thor will be called Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> Whatever. I, I saw a funny they just said Thor and like instead of an H, it had a four. Right. Thor yeah. four. Yeah. Um no Shazam. Yeah, there was no Shazam. No Where Shazam was... because you know, fuck DC. Uh let's see. Uh I don't do Marvel Legends anymore. So all those are a no for me, but I do really like a lot of the stuff that I had seen from them. Oh, this is what we didn't show off. And this is a this is a total fucking must have for me. Sorry, I'm I'm going back into curse uh, land again. The Alfred figure, guys, you guys got to know what I'm talking about here. Oh, that the was yeah, exactly. Alfred figure. I am all over this. I think this is lovely. Until Mezco gives me an Alfred, I'm getting this uh, DC Alfred figure to go with my Mezco figures, and it comes with three head sculpt, four head sculpts actually. It comes with the uh, the the regular comic version with the small mustache. It comes with the uh, Michael Go, uh, Dark, uh, the Batman, eighty nine Batman, uh, Butler head. It's got some kind of weird head that looks like the chameleon, like a skull cap on it or something. I've never seen that. It's face. a character called the Outsider. Okay, man. Yeah. All right. And it's from we... the uh, For Forever Evil storyline. Okay. And who was the other head sculpt though? There was one other one, the one that was in the middle. Out of the head sculpts, let me see. I'm gonna pull this shit up. Uh, Bold Queen says hi. Hi, Bold Queen. What's up? Um, ah, damn it. I hate having to do this. Let's see. Google.com. Uh, DC. C, um, DC. M, M A T T. Mattel. A L F R E D. Alfred. Alfredo comes up. Alfred the multiverse. Here we go. T -t 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 -t. Yes. Oh, and the '66 version. That's the other version. Yeah. Yeah. And the How'd you forget version. that one? Yeah, I don't know. I, I know. I had it. I forget that one exactly. Jesus. I am totally doing the Michael Go head sculpt, and I am getting a one twelfth scale Pepsi in a cup, and I'm doing the Pepsi commercial. I mean, uh, uh, Coke <laughs> commercial rather, uh, with him drinking the Coke. Um, he wrote what animated. Uh, okay, yeah, all right, exactly. So, no, it wasn't the animated one. So it was the comic version, the 66 version, the outsider version, and the Michael Go version. I'm going with the Michael Go version for now. And when I actually put him with my Mezco, I'll probably go with the comic version. But for the meantime, I'm going to probably have him with the, the Coca-Cola. I think that, that that thing is hilarious. Um, so that's, that's a must-have for me. Uh, Mezco's reveals, must-haves. Um Again, like there's nothing that completely like just blew my mind, right? That, like, what did they? I, like, this is the problem that I had this year. What was it? What did they reveal? Nothing that just made me go, "Wow, oh my god, I gotta have it! I can't believe they're doing this." Um, I don't know. I'll probably get a bunch of those Mezcos to to just to review for you guys, and then I'll probably wind up selling the ones I'm not going to keep. Let's put it that way. All right, so I'll probably be getting you all the Mezcos except for the movie stuff. I'll review them and then I'll sell off the stuff I don't want to don't want to keep. So that's my Mesco stuff, and uh, I already told you about my six scale stuff, and that's pretty much it so far. I haven't looked into the Cryptozoic stuff yet. I haven't looked into um, what other company uh, or Super Seven. I haven't looked into Super Seven or Cryptozoic yet, but we're gonna get um, we're gonna get a few guests on eventually. That's gonna uh, it's gonna show that stuff off. Oh, Baz, are you interested in that three pack? We didn't look at that. The three pack with uh, with uh, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, and Magneto. Probably. I have them. You have yeah, they, them? they came in like two weeks ago, yeah. Really? How is that, Magneto? Yeah, they're good. They're really good. Oh, yeah. You gotta uh, it has two uh, two head sculpts on the Magneto. And, uh, yeah. No, we finally got an updated Quicksilver, which was badly needed. I remember uh, Quicksilver came out in the early days of when uh, Hasbro, first, Hasbro first got the uh, – Marvel Legends license and uh, it wasn't that great, but uh, yeah, they're it's it's a nice three pack. CM Brock just mentioned something really good. Okay, uh, what about the NECA Turtles animated? Here we go. Oh, I got those pre-ordered. You the NECA? I do not. That's a company I do not spend a lot of time with, and I don't pay a lot of attention to. Oh no, uh, to my detriment. I know. 
Uh, the animated turtles, I'm not doing, but because I already have my animated turtles, which are the new 2012 versions. That's that 2012 cartoon to me is the end all be all for the turtles. It was so good. The storylines were so good. However, they have a Casey Jones coming out that looks absolutely amazing. That was one of my wow moments when I saw the the crazy Casey that Jones sick, yeah. cartoon, which is my favorite iteration of Casey Jones actually. So uh, that looks great. I'm definitely getting that that Casey Jones figure because um, I got I got I got confused. I, I pre ordered the uh, DC collectibles, uh, Batman and uh, Turtles. Oh, the Batman Turtles. Oh, did you watch the cartoon yet? No, but those those freaking figures are awesome, <laughs> dude. It's so good, man. That cartoon is so good, man. Um, yeah. So I got to get on to Hush. And you got to get on to Hush and Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. It's just really freaking good, man. You're going to love – you're going to – you already pre-ordered the figures. You're going to be like, I can't wait for these figures to come now after seeing that cartoon. Um, but I love the, uh, the the animated version of uh, April looks great. Uh, here's something that I thought looked great about the NECA Turtles. The April's in it too? They have April, a Casey Jones. I'm going to have to pull this shit up now too. I'm trying oh, to sign shit. the fucking show off. and, and we, Yep, got to pull this up now. We're in the are, turtle hole. We're in the sewer hole. Yeah, we're in the sewer hole right now. Google. Oh. Uh, N-E-C-A. NECA S-D-C-C 2019. Here we go. Alrighty. And from the NECA booth, we're going to Bleeding Cool for this one. So shout out to BleedingCool.com once again. We've been kind of harping on them a little Dude, bit. Dude, I remember, I remember as a kid like going to the comic shop. It was around like 1984. And seeing the turtles, uh, what you call it, on, on the on the rack, the comic book rack, and I was like, "Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles." I was like, "That is the stupidest fucking shit ever." Yeah, right. Well, did you? And boy, was I was I wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, Baz, you getting the screen share on here? You got a Mega Death figure yeah. coming, right? Oh, With yeah. Soft goods. This this oh, army trooper cool. here. I don't know who that's from. That's SOD. That's uh, Stormtroopers of Death. That's another band. Uh, it's pretty cool looking. I got to admit, it's actually nice looking. I like the way the clothes are fitting on these figures a lot better than we saw during Toy Fair. The clothing on these figures look a lot tighter, a lot neater. The Bob Ross figure oh, looks good. Oh, the dude from Goonies. Yeah, man. Sloth and, and, and Chuck uh, Chunk 2-pack. And they come with the broken statue, right? Looks like he's pissing <laughs> in his face. That's awesome. Uh, so that looks really cool. I may may look at this from my 80s, and I'm putting together a little 80s thing with my DeLorean and, and Hot Toys and Ghostbusters and stuff. So that may go in there. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of their, their Terminator stuff. Again, it's, they look good, but whatever. Uh, because they come out with so many different versions of these and 80,000 different versions of Predator and all that. Okay, here's the Ninja Turtle stuff. Notice something. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, rotating ball joints at the shoulder and at the leg, which means they are upping their articulation a big time. And they look like they're right out of the damn cartoon, too. They got the cartoon colors, they're bright, they're colorful, and the articulation on these damn things is great. Look at that. You can see the two pins here for the elbow and the two pins there for the double knee. So you're going to be able to get these guys in any type of pose you want. They look great. They all look great. I love this battle damage versions of the Foot Clan. I mean, this looks this looks really wonderful. I just I'm so I'm all about keeping my collection as absolutely tight as possible. I have a set of Ninja Turtles that I'm happy with. I'm sticking to them. Here's the April Baz, right? The April looks oh, okay. great. She I don't oh, think she, she looks good. Awesome. She looks really good. And he oh god, Casey Jones looks so friggin' good. That's OG Casey Jones. Right? Yeah, man, it's my favorite version of Casey Jones because he's like, this is like the crazy bastard like i always picture this casey jones is suffering from like post-traumatic stress disorder kind of because he's just mm -hmm. like a complete nut job but he looks great man he looks like he's right out of the cartoon and or comic book actually you know no, but like it, okay what what are the stylings is it is it the cartoon i don't is i keep it like with these black outlines it reminds me more of the comic man you know yeah. it reminds me more of like that company that was doing the turtles that, that stopped doing the turtles. They did the turtles for a little bit and then stopped when they all they did was the four pack of the cart of the comic book turtles before NECA took over. I, I don't remember the, name of the company. You got a you got a close up of April. Yeah, hold on. Let's get off all of right. uh, Casey. 
a second here. We'll go to the close-up of April. April, I don't think, is fully decked out yet, though, because I don't think she has any of our articulation points, unless they're just doing a statue version of her, in which case I think it's a missed opportunity. Oh, no, she has it. Okay. She has it. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at how they hid her articulation. You could see that she has the waist articulation here, the ab crunch, but they hid it in a fold. It's like a fold. It looks like a fold. And yeah. I thought the arms were statue too, but they're not because you could see it in the folds of her shirt. You could see where the arms bend, right? Then the knees don't look like they bend, though. It doesn't look like you're getting any articulation in the knees, though. Wow, that sucks. I don't think you're getting them in the knees, but she comes with a turtle communicator. It looks like a piece of paper. She's got her uh, her camera. Oh, what are the cuts there, though? Where? In, in the knees, just above the – what is that cut there for? That's not a design thing. So not like right right where my pointer is pointing to right now? Yeah, all, all around the, the knee. Yeah, th that's a cut, no? If it is, then I don't know what it's going to look like when she actually bends her knees then. That might look a little weird. It might look like she has yeah. knee pads on then, unless that yeah. is a hidden articulation point there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why they wouldn't give her uh, the knee uh, articulation. But she, I mean, she looks good. She looks like she's right out of the freaking cartoon. I mean, right out of it. So which cartoon though? There's so many of them. That's like this looks more like the video game April, like uh, which mm -hmm. I guess is you know after the the, the '90s card. The, the I mean the '80s cartoon. Yeah, but that Casey Jones is isn't from the cart. That doesn't match up with the cartoon though. He yeah, looks he, like the he looks like the original Casey Jones from the early comics. He does. He does. But he did look like this in the cartoon too, though. He had that same uh, blockhead uh, look to it. But he looks more comic to me, though, as well than cartoon. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell's going on in the chat room. I haven't even looked at the chat in like forever. Uh, Baggy says hi. I'm late. Hey, what's up, dude? That's 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 my boy Moss. What's up, Moss? That's that's one of uh, Grayson's buddies and one of our buddies here. Uh, like like literal buddies. Like I know the, the I know him in real life. He's a cool kid. So shout outs to him. And, uh, yeah, so they look great. All this stuff looks great, dude. Um, uh, this is cute, I guess, if you're going to get stuff for, like, your desk for work. Cartoon uh, versions of the horror, version of the horror, horror characters. Uh, the, oh, and let's see what they updated the day that they live set. Uh, I'm not feeling the, the – she looks good. I'm not feeling the suit on this version at all here. I love the TV. Uh, I like the Obey, them holding the Obey stuff. I think that this suit looks – does not fit the figure at all. The face sculpt is good. I don't like the way the suit sits on them. And uh, I like the TV set, though. So I may have to get like an aftermarket TV set to go along with my uh, my Mezco version of it. But she looks good, though. She looks pretty damn good. But they're 8-inch. That, so that other character behind them is uh, from Nightbreed. A Nightbreed character? Yeah, again, yeah. I don't I don't think the full I don't think they can do full suits just yet. I think the tailoring on their suits don't look good. This looks pretty good. The Pennywise looks good. The, the tailoring on these look pretty, and which is funny because the tailoring on this has to be like way harder to do than a suit because it actually looks good, you know. But I think the suit stuff just doesn't look right. It looks good on here. The baggiest stuff looks good, and I like that they're going, candy man. I like that they're going. I got to be honest, man. I like that they're going into the soft goods, man, because it's gonna push. It's gonna push Mezco to have to up their game again, you know. I like. I know some person was going. Oh, it makes them look like they're wearing pajamas. I hate that. I hate the soft goods look. I don't know. I, I'm a soft good guy. You know, unless the art, unless the sculpt is so good that it doesn't matter. You know. But other than that, that's what you got from NECA right there. There's your NECA stuff. So yeah, Casey Jones was one of my uh, top top picks for the con this year. Uh, from from uh, NECA. Let's see. Uh, great show as always, guys. Yeah, totally rock on. Uh, Let's see, was it animated? Okay, Marvel Legends Quicks. Yeah, okay, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, definitely, Brock. All right, uh, that's it. I don't have anything else. I told you what my my absolute must-haves were. Used I, what I used to do before I had this live show was go through my top tens and favorite reveals from the con and stuff. But I'm not gonna have time to do a video like that because I'm actually behind at some of my reviews. So you kind of got like a smorgasbord of shit that I liked and what we didn't like. And I thought Hot Toys had a lot of missed opportunities this year. I kind of want somebody to do like, like I had mentioned Tombstone. Like someone needs to do like Doc Holiday or something, or like uh, give us like 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 that. That's a nice, awesome classic Western movie that needs figures or something. Or like uh, I know that like the Good and the Bad, and the Ugly were made by like some customizer or something, and now 
uh, like a knockoff company does. But we need a legit company to do licensed for, versions, figures of that. Let's get some more classic movies, man, like Hollywood, classic Hollywood stuff um, to come out. That's what I'm hoping for eventually anyway. That's why you see me go goo goo gaga over shit like um, Flash Gordon and uh, – the, the Laurel and Hardy stuff, because it's just different, and it's something to make your collection look different. How many Iron Mans are you going to have? How many Captain Americas are you going to have? Don't you want your collection to look vast? Like, look at all this crazy stuff. I, most of the time when people come into my house and they look at my Batman stuff, they're like, all right, that's kind of cool. But they look at the Adam West. They look at the Christopher Reeve. They look at the, the Michael Keaton stuff. Everything else is kind of like, eh, whatever. They don't even look at my Marvel Hot Toys stuff at all. When they look at the Star Wars stuff, they look at Vader and like uh, the Vader and Luke that I have together, and that's it. They always look at the Ghostbusters. They always look at the Back to the Future stuff. They always look at that, the off the beaten path classic stuff. Uh, Baggy writes James Bond. James Bond is actually being done by a company called, um, not QMX, it's uh, uh, oh, no. the company that's doing James Bond. Whatever, some company is doing all the classic James Bond guys. So that's cool. They just I haven't seen any of their releases for the con e either yet. I'm surprised these other companies don't get any they don't they don't show anything off. They don't have a lot of love, you know, they don't get a lot of coverage. It's always the big name companies. Um Yo, dude, stuff. dude, that Thor Love and Thunder title is actually for real. Oh, whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm sure it'll be all right. I mean, it's been, it's been do, done by the same guy that did uh, Ragnarok. And a lot of people think that that was the best Thor movie. Uh, it kind of was. <laughs> it, it was. I don't think Thor's in it. It might be a female Thor. Oh, okay. There you go. So I guess Thor is now going to be in... Uh, as Guardians of the Galaxy. As Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you'll have uh, new Thor probably is like the girl Thor or something whatever anyways uh let's see so yeah it those are always the pieces of my collection that get the most love you know the off the beaten path stuff the cool like oh my god i can't believe you have this they made this that's, that's amazing i want to see more stuff like that and i guess we're gonna have to rely on blitzway for that stuff all right baz with the uh you're going uh blues brothers on us brother so yeah man uh, all right. <laughs> the, future, the future's so bright i gotta wear shades man <laughs> so just uh it's been an okay sdcc nothing nothing too spectacular yeah i didn't open okay. the mouth over anything at this i kind of knew that the uh, bill and ted stuff was coming the hendrix thing i thought was really great but nothing else had me going oh my god it's crazy that they're doing this nothing had me doing that this year from what yeah. i've so far there's still a few companies i haven't seen but Nothing and, like, trailer-wise, I, I like the Picard trailer. That was pretty good, but I'm still apprehensive about it because I didn't like Discovery. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't know. The, uh, the oh, no, what will we give it, like, a fucking B or a C? I give this con overall, like, a C. I'm going with a C yeah. plus, a C, C plus. Uh, it wasn't it, – it didn't It didn't wow me. I'm sorry. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just like your opinion, man. And they're right. It's just like my opinion. So my opinion may mean a lot, may not. Uh, as far as trailers go, uh, I didn't see the Star Trek one. I saw the Three from Hell trailer, which I thought looked awesome. I love the, those movies, though. Love Rob Zombie. I can't wait for that. There was another – I didn't see the Top Gun trailer. I don't care about that either. I got to be honest. I don't like Tom Cruise as a person. Uh, I don't like that the Scientology and what they do to their members and stuff like that. Sorry if you're a Scientologist and you happen to see this and come on the show anytime and prove me wrong. But as far as I know, I don't want nothing to do with those people. Uh, and I don't like Tom Cruise. Um, it too. I didn't, I didn't even see it one. Cause I'm a big sissy Mary when it comes to that stuff. Uh, Miss go making that Frazetta Conan. It's kind of blowing me away. Yes. All right. The Conan. There you go. Like I said, Mezco, I'm getting everything, reviewing what I like, uh, keeping what I like and getting rid of whatever I don't, but I pretty much review everything from them. Uh, but that was cool. That was a cool release. It was. We went over. That was the first thing we went over here, uh, Trev. If you didn't see the beginning of the show, we spent like the first five, ten minutes of the show talking about that. Uh, what other trailers were there, man? Anything? Did DC show, show anything this year? There was no joke. Uh, watch, Watchmen. Watchmen and... Uh... The Pretty Watchmen sure. trailer looked good. I liked what I saw from the Watchmen trailer. That got me hyped. I got to see it again, though, like not on my phone. I got to put it up on my television and see it and like kind of immerse myself. One, 
One day you should get into Preacher. It's a really good series, man. Preacher, I, yeah, Preacher 2. I hear that. That's really good, so I'd like to watch that as well now. And here we are signing the show off, and there's damn 16 – there's 16 people watching right now. This is this is this is what drives me, which is what twists the dagger. For months, we went live at 10 o'clock. No one tuned in. We were like, screw it, we're going live at 8 o'clock. We we'll go live at 8 o'clock now and we get the most viewership coming at like 9 30, 10 o'clock. That's when the viewership goes crazy. Uh well, crazy at least for this channel. So again, we want to try to expand the horizons here. Let's get more people to tune in and stuff. For those of you that are just tuning in now, please like the video. Uh, we just went over every San Diego Comic-Con figure you could possibly imagine, at least the ones that we kind of dig on this channel. Um, it's going to be hard to end. Uh, what, it too, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Unless you're talking about something else. Um, just hopped <laughs> in. Yeah, it's all right. You can catch it on the replay if you want. If not, whatever. There's always next week, I guess. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this in the weeks to come as they show more and more of this stuff or as they go up for pre-order because, you know, they never show these things. Oh, there was a picture. Of Cyclops, Mezco this is. Mezco Cyclops, Hal Jordan, Bat, the Batman in the blue, and the Cable. And boy, do those PX exclusive figures look good, man. Every one of them look great. Baz, I know you got Hal Jordan and Batman coming, right? And uh, Cyclops, too. Oh, you pre-ordered the Cyclops, too, huh? Yeah. Uh, the previews one or the 90s one? The Jim Lee one? Uh, 90s one, man. Oh, yeah, then I know. I'm they had the one with the scuba head on for uh, on display and he looked good too man it's definitely something to go and check out they all look great so i hope you guys were a little bit more excited about the con as we were here there were things we liked things we were like eh with and there was a lot of just where's morpheus neo sold out as far as i know neo at least i think he's on wait list or something neo did pretty good numbers where's the morpheus figure Where's the Agent Smith figure that's been a year in development? It's like they're pushing everything to the side for Marvel, it seems Hot Toys is doing. And they're not – since the Marvel train is not slowing down, the Hot, tro the hot Toy Marvel train isn't going to slow down. So I got a news for everybody. I don't think we're going to get much of anything besides Star Wars, the occasional DC figure, occasional, and mostly uh, Star Wars a little bit, unless the, this new movie blows us all away and everyone goes nuts for the new Star Wars I think it's going to be mostly Marvel from here on out with Hot Toys, man. I don't think they're going to give us much of anything else. Right, it's going to be mostly Marvel for every everything, everywhere. What happened? It's going to be mostly Marvel for every for every uh, company. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I like this is where I get like I don't like monopolies and I don't like the idea that everything has just got to be Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. And I really like. I'm wearing a Stanley shirt. I don't even really like Stanley that much. I, I do like him. He's like the grandpa of superheroes. But I don't like him as much as most other people. I just like this shirt with all the heroes, and it's like a tribute. Like thanks for giving us what, what the the ones you did give us. Wink, wink. Um, but again, CCM Brock writes Marvel all day, baby, and then a lot of faces. <laughs> but so I, would, uh, I would say we're more like. We're genre fans. We like the superhero genre, and it doesn't matter what company it comes from, as long as it's quality. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. We're not team. We don't play the teams on the. We lean DC, but it, like if there was like a spectrum, right? And it was like Marvel, DC. We're like superhero fans that lean DC, you know. But we like kind of everything for the most part. Um, thanks, Mama. Mama Red Cup review got me this. Mama Rob Banks got me this for Christmas um, right after Stan passed, actually. So thanks, Ma. Um, I don't know, man. I, I like I like just other things. I like seeing variety. I want, I want more variety in my soup. I can't. My favorite food, my favorite food of all time is chicken cutlet parm with a little bit of penny vodka on the side. But I can't eat chicken cutlet parm every night, you know? Uh, yeah, they show you uh, there's... There's like a hot girl, right? And a guy will be married to like a fine girl. Not every guy, but, you know, a guy could, a, a guy could be married to a fine, fine looking girl. And then he can cheat on that girl with, uh, with someone that's not as good looking. And when we were teenagers, we used to joke around like, uh, not when we were married, obviously, it was like dating. Uh, we used to say, well, sometimes you want hamburger. You can't have steak every night. You know, uh, we like different things, man. We like just to have variety in our stuff here. Uh, speaking of DC, did you see Snyder post an image of his cut of JL 
where Wonder Woman beheads Steppenwolf before Whedon destroyed it, of course. Uh, oh, so, so good. Um, that is going to be an interesting watch, though. I will definitely get the Snyder Cut and watch that. Yo, if you have it, post that on the uh, Red Cup uh, yeah, review. Yeah, post on the official uh, page. Facebook. Guys, for those of you tuning in right now, please go and join the official Red Cup review dash the Rebellion. We're changing the name of Rebellion soon. I've been on vacation for a week, guys. Uh, that's our page to just post up all kinds of that's, – that's our group. It's our group for everybody to interact and post up stuff like, hey, did you see this picture? No, I haven't. So show it to me so I could show it off on next week's show and talk about it. Uh, and uh, and we that's where we interact and stuff during the week, you know, in between the, the, the shows and stuff. So go join that page. Um, and obviously give us a sub. You know, if you're not already sub, please give us a sub. And, uh, and and thanks for joining us tonight. Baz, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. James Belk, I know you'll see this on the replay. I still got your giveaway here. We do mad giveaways on this channel, and I'm packing it up this week. Um, my family got struck with a lot of tragedy this week. Um, a lot of like kind of tragedy and a lot of real tragedy. So we're, we're working through that as well. Uh, but we don't discuss that here. We we keep it positive. So as far as me being behind on things, you got to kind of cut us a little slack here. All right. Besides that, anything else you guys would like to see? Also, another reason to join the Rebellion. Some guys hit me up uh, that a friend of me on Facebook and said, um, like, hey, why don't you talk about this? Like a dude, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, a good friend of ours, said, hey, why don't you guys talk about – uh, what? Who has a better rogues gallery, Spider Man or Batman? And go through the rogues, and, and what do you think is better? And we did not forget about that topic. We we're going to talk about it soon because it's a very good topic. Who has the best rogues gallery in comics? And usually it comes down to either Spider Man or Batman. Although I do think the X Men have some really awesome rogues myself. That's the, that's the, and then Flash. For, yeah, but Flash has got rogues are good. But they're not they're not Spider Man or Batman good dude or even X-Men. no 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 they're but they're, they're up there they're they are good. good they are good uh, and that's it that's all I got for you now guys unfortunately I got to figure out the perfect time to go live on a Saturday for you guys and that's it I can't think of any damn thing else to talk about I want to thank everybody for joining us here have a good night go watch a cool movie I'm gonna try my best to get the kids to bed so I can actually watch you ready for this Dream Girls. Why the hell would I watch that movie? Because I heard it's really good, and I've been into Motown lately, and I'm trying to take it easy and, and do like a therapy, like music therapy. So I've been listening to a lot of Motown lately, so I want to watch that movie tonight if I get the chance. Otherwise, can't watch superhero stuff every night. If the wife goes to bed early, though, I will probably sneak in a hush. So should I wish? Why don't you watch Jersey Boys if that's the case? Uh, that's oh, that's up on the list, too. We want to watch that, too. That's actually on no. our list for, for non – we're trying to take a little bit of a break. For superhero-y stuff, you know? Um, That's what I've been saying, man. We're trying to take a break from the superhero stuff a little Jesus. bit. Jesus. Uh, uh, Baggy says, why don't you try 8.30? We could try 8.30. I just I want to get off. Uh, usually I like to go from live from 8 to 9. And then, oh, Jesus Christ. Now he's, he's sending me private messages. Julio, put it on the fucking page. Everyone wants to send me private messages. I love you guys. I will answer all your private messages. But you got to put it on the damn page so that other people can comment on it and we can have a smorgasbord of people wrestling and fighting each other. And This is why. Uh, dude, I got to go. I got to wake up at 4 in the morning. All right. Go, go to bed. I'll, I'll <laughs> off. Take care. Brush brush. Your hair. Uh, this is why I um, – he goes, I did. All right, good. Um, this is why I um, – I try to keep it to an hour. I like to go get on by eight, get off by nine. That never happens. We always run late. Uh, recently, the last few weeks, we've been running late, but I like to keep the shows as tight as possible. Uh, CM Brock goes 8.39, or we can go all night. I know some of these dudes do like four-hour uh, streams and stuff. That's just crazy, bro. Uh, like You got to have a, other things going on or something. I don't know. That's cool for those people that could do it. I can't do that. Um, so we got to find the perfect time, right? There's that. But there was some. Oh, why should you join the Red Cup review or subscribe to this stupid channel here? Here's the reason why: because we don't hold back here. We don't play the kumbaya game. We try not to offend anyone, but we pretty much offend people inadvertently from time to time, and it's not on purpose. Uh, and on that page, there's really no rules, right? So you got a lot of rules where it's like, oh, n don't do this, don't do that. My rules for the Red Cup review, the uh, the official Red Cup review Facebook page, I only have one rule, and that's use common sense. Don't be a troll and use common sense. If you're going to get offended by something, it's definitely not for you. 
We try to keep it a little professional, but that's for the other pages. You want something a little bit more Opie and Anthony, Howard Sternish, you go to that page. You come to our page. You come to our live show, you go to that page. We are going to clean it up a little bit just to be a little bit more professional, but that's it. So that's the re that's my pitch to you why you should go join that page if you want something a little bit more edgier. Uh, let's see. DC for life. Love Marvel, though. Julio thinks Marvel makes bad movies, so everyone jump on him in the chat. Hate the chat. Yeah, bro. It's just it's all in good fun. And uh, we're going to try and get uh, Amanda on here from Cryptozoic. We're going to get her on the show to talk some – some, and she's an industry person, so we'll get her on. And we're going to get a bunch of other past guests on too as well. And we're going to have a really good August. August is our year anniversary for the show, so I'm going to try to line up every Saturday night in August with something really awesome. Uh, and, and we'll try and get Knickknack back on as well. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, wa thanks for – hopefully thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next week. All right, fellas. Appreciate it. Peace out.